What's up, everybody? It's Rusty Clutch here, and welcome back to the podcast. We might sound a little different today. It's because uh, it's live. Nah, I got it's not live. We're out, we're held in his basement. Help. Yeah. Okay. Basement basically. Help. All right. So I got Wait, I got my two co-hosts today. I'm blinking twice. Help. <laughs> I have Omar. I'm blinking. Help. And I have Trevor. Or pillow. Or pillow. My bad. My bad. You wet. Do you want me to start over? I you think I care? All right. Cool. Uh, can you play that one more time? Okay, so Omar is our, our dedicated soundboard man, <laughs> apparently. But uh, I figured, yeah. you know, you want to introduce me to Pillow because that's what most people know me as. But it's cool, it's cool. My bad, it's just because you're, uh, it's because you're in person. I think. Yeah, yeah, I know. That's what it I is. think. It's because you're in person. I introduced you as as your name. Like I, I messed that up. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but uh, we don't have Carlos today. Uh, he's a little busy. He did. But he There's said he'd no be pad? here. <laughs> that's what I said. <laughs> notepad. I did that for, on my notepad. Uh, I told you. For those listeners who cannot see our topics list. Because you can't see it. This is the first time he put it in notepad. Why is it and notepad? it is very hard what is to read. What's wrong with you? <laughs> what did you want me to type it up in Excel? So, um, I word? You will constantly Ellie? hear Google Omar Docs or something about the notepad. <laughs> Deal with Jesus. it. <laughs> so, yeah, so uh, oh, Carlos isn't here. And then Steven lives too far away to be here for live. But we have a way of patching him in. He just couldn't make it uh, this week. It's that actually kind of good. Is that what he told you? Yeah, that's what he told me. You're such a liar. That's what he told me. Show me the DMs. Okay, I'll send it to you later. Right. <laughs> Say less. All right, all right, all right. So <laughs> let's uh, let's start everyone's week. How's it going? Who's got stuff to share? I have stuff to share, but I'll wait. Okay, well, what if I join via my phone? No, because then you can mess it all up. <laughs> <laughs> you actually mess it all up, I think. Wow, I sound just like my fucking third grade teacher. You're going to mess everything up. <laughs> She's like, just be quiet and put your pants Turn down. Your camera off. Zoom call. <laughs> Turn your cameras on. I'll be in the Zoom call. Cheese. Pepper Jack cheese. Did we ask kids? You ever seen kids? No. My Bro. cock. There's no one in the class <laughs> named my cock. Who's, whose name is Dick is Biggest? <laughs> oh, I can explain. I can explain. Oh. All right. Who wants to go first? Someone's weak. Someone, please tell me. I'm oh, dying to know. First. Yeah, Trevor, you go first. It's been a fat minute since yeah, you've been in a pod. Heard, we haven't heard from Pillow in a while. Oh, yeah, I know. I haven't been in yet. Um, I moved. Uh, as you can see, uh, from where? I wouldn't be in the live podcast. Dude, yeah, that's, that's, the, o- that's the only reason he moved, is just to be in the live podcast. He lived in Alaska. No. Le- legit, like, so I was like, and I was like, oh, yeah. E. Uh, yeah, so uh, please help me. I'm in his attic. <laughs> I'm, I'm blinking twice. <laughs> I thought I was. I thought you guys help. were in the basement. No, I, what, you gave Omar the basement. Oh, you're right. You're Please right. help. You're right. You're right. You're right. So, uh, anything else besides moving? Um, no. No, that's, that's it. it. That's it. Just moving, dude. It takes forever. I feel You're that. like never done. I feel that it took us like a year to move into this place, and we're still not you're finished moving right? in. Yeah, <laughs> There's still right. boxes you're everywhere. Just never finished, Ryan. How about you, Omar? How's your week? What about me? Tell me. All right, I found it. It's uh, who's Mike Coxling, Kimmy Head, <laughs> Jenna Tella. <laughs> you guys, this is all Dixie one take, Norris, right? I'm I'm not cutting any of this out. Dover, Mike Hunt, <laughs> Nick Kegger. <laughs> okay, that was you funny. you want to know what's funny? Jack Mihoff. You want to know what's funny? I do know a Mike Hunt. <laughs> do you really? I do. Uh, he used probably. to he used to be a, a jazz instructor at Moke. His name was Huge Michael Hunt. G-rection. But they called him Mike Hunt. <laughs> Mo you Lester. Oh, that one's easy. Bill McCracken. <laughs> Negro. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> it's spelled no, no, N E. Whoa, but it's spelled K N E E space G R O W. That's still a that, I know, that's still a little, little close. Bit of a stretch. That's Hugh, ja- Hugh Jazz. <laughs> oh my, I want to know about your week. <laughs> I don't want to know about your names. Um. Uh, if if Hold this on. stays in the podcast, <laughs> I, found, I found like Good one job. more. And it was really nothing. Honestly, another confirmed case where I work. Poggers. Uh, it's getting dangerous. You're next. I mean, good. probably. I mean, like, I always lift the toilet seat before I leave work, so just to be safe. <laughs> what do you mean you lift the to, toilet seat? To get those extra enzymes. <laughs> Mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. Bro. bro, you know, like, you pick your nose and, like, you eat it. Like, exactly. it builds immunity, my dude. Oh, okay, okay, I got exactly. you. You're trying to build immunity. I get you. You lick I get the you. seat, and then you, <laughs> like, you, like you, and then you wash your hands with your feet. Yeah, exactly. Just to make exactly. sure, you know. Oh my god! You want to know what I think is funny, Omar? What's up? There's a perfectly good side table 
on the other side of that couch. I like this side. And you're using the speaker. So I don't have to use a coaster. <laughs> I mean, you're right. <laughs> but I like this part of the couch. I didn't like that part. That part looks weird. What do you mean? The pillows and blankets are on this side of the couch. You moved them to the <laughs> other side. Because I wanted to sit here. I don't believe in destiny. I make my own way. <laughs> what are you playing at? What are you, what are you playing at? What are you playing at? All right. Um, is, that, is that it or what? Anything else? I mean, honestly, that's pretty much it. I'm uh, I'm kind of like job hunting right now, I guess you could say. Okay. Um, just like looking at some stuff on Indie. Bro, good luck, just, my dude. I know, but it, the fact is that I'm at least trying. No, I like, mean like actually good luck. Like I've, <laughs> yeah, uh, Trevor's I've been looking for fat minutes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> no one's actually hiring. <laughs> well, like I don't, like ex- again, I'm just I'm doing what you're doing. I'm just trying to put my foot in the door, or like I'm just like sending it out, like hey, this looks cool. Send I, I walk in cool. with my mask, Send like, it. hey, you got work, right? Yeah, you need to apply online. I did. And they're just like, okay, you got to wait. And I'm like, how long? I did. How long? <laughs> how long have I been pushing? 200 years. How old are you again? Uh, 21. Yeah, about that long. <laughs> um, But I've been at least, like, applying here and there or whatever. I'm not really – like, if I get it, if I get an interview – cool awesome if not i'm not too worried about it it's just that right now the position i'm in i'm getting really tired of it at least or at least the responsibilities that are being put on me because it's ridiculous because it's kind of like i get all this stuff thrown at me and then i just get like not even a good job or like pat on the back instead i get uh criticism and like i get ridiculed and i'm and just like why don't you do this if you were here for this much time why don't you do this That's this this, starts, and this my dude and then i'm just like Okay, what about the other like all the other half of stuff I did before that? Or it's like uh, hardware called out or lumber called out. I had to cover their departments because management told me to do that. And then the guy who I'm with just kind of like has a big stick up his butt and is just kind of like, "Hey, dude, uh, I don't really feel like working here anymore, so I'm gonna slack off Hella and give all the work to you." And I was like, "Man, that's how it starts." That's my how dude. it's like, bro. Uh, yeah, can yeah I, like, I know. Well, it's because they know you work hard, so they're gonna try. They're like, "Oh, this guy works hard, so I let's guess. just give him more work." Can I like? Can I use brand names here or like? Uh, I don't care. Yeah, go for it. Because that's what happened to me at FedEx. They yeah. started giving me other shit with other departments, and mm-hmm. I was like, "No, you can't put me on that. You haven't trained me on that." Like, "Oh, we'll train you as you go." No, you can't train me as I'm doing the work. <laughs> yeah. I'm doing a very <laughs> what different do you job. Mean? That's not how it works. And I yeah. told them that, and then like that's that's when they said, "No, he's like, you know, you can't come in anymore." And I was like, "What do you mean?" Like, no, really, that's how it works. At least you like if you yeah. quit before they do that to you, they'll look better on you. I'm I was fired. So, you know, yeah. I always have to put, like, yes, yes, I was terminated. And I got to, like, yeah. explain that. Yeah, and you have to explain the reason yeah. why. I mean, like I said, the, I think they gave me, like, like a little basket saying thank you. And, yeah. <laughs> what was in the basket? What was in the basket? <laughs> Bro, you got a basket. I got a paper that says, sign here, please. <laughs> I mean, like, I was, I was like, cool. I'm like, oh, cool, I got a basket. That's fucked up, but man. But it was just shit that, like, I didn't even want or, like, I didn't need. Starbucks gift card. No, Cookies you don't like, even no, like. I like Starbucks. Like, okay, okay. I'm coming around Starbucks to is good. I'm coming around. Hey, bro. All I'm saying is the human being wins. Look. Because they, they the have Star- the Red look, Bull, look, Ice look, Red look, Bull. Look, look, look. They put when the things in the game. you a Starbucks gift card, it's not for you. <laughs> it's for you to buy for other people exactly. to make your woman happy. Exactly. Trust me. That's yes. what the Starbucks gift card is for. You, not wrong. They, they know why they're putting it in there for men. It had something they exactly <laughs> know. The basket had some like stupid logo too on it that said like. Oh, the, so they didn't make oh, it. They, oh, bought so it. they bought it. The they, they bought it. At no, 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 no. Like they, <laughs> they bought they, the ninety nine no, cents only. Yeah, they bought like the ninety nine cent like little plastic tu- like cubby like Tupperware thing. Okay. No, that was a pre made basket. No. Yeah. They, no, and then they put a bunch of stuff in it, but it was like they put like. Um, Did it come wrapped? No. The whole basket was wrapped. No, okay. it just came oh, with like some little confetti like you know, you know gifts and stuff. Yeah, yeah. The filler. Yeah. And basically, it had like chips and salsa. That's racist. And then, <laughs> the okay, what kind of salsa? What, what kind? It was the like paste. No, no, no. It was the, <laughs> it just, if, if it's paste, that's racist. That's racist. Like, like, that's fake you Mexican. Know. So no, it's the fuck, ah, god damn it, the brand that does the salsa in jars already. The to- Totinos. Oh, dinner? Tostinos. Okay, yeah. that's is not it, bad. That's not bad because that's like a party. Yeah, it's like yeah, a party. Yeah, okay, so, but, but but it's also fucking delicious. I don't like it though. <laughs> Bro, I pass have my that shit made. over. Yeah, yeah, I will <laughs> eat that. I eat that straight out of the jar. That's it's just, just spoonfuls. It's gross. <laughs> and then the card said like something about like salsa and chip and me doing good at work. And I didn't get it. And I was just like, great. Thanks. That's amazing. 
and I just chucked it in my locker. And then as I was leaving, I was just giving everybody like free stuff as I was leaving. Like, here, you want this? You want this? You want this? I don't care. And then I got home, and all I had left was like the chips and the salsa, <laughs> and then like I, little, little bits of candies, and I just gave them to my brothers and sisters. And my mom was like, <laughs> "What the hell?" And I was like, "I don't know, bro." <laughs> you know, you're as confused as I am. I, I know I was. <laughs> But, like, after that, I think the guy before who had my position was, like, oh, I had the position for, like, three years, and then I finally got out. And I was, like... <laughs> got out. <laughs> he exactly. said, he said, got out. When they exactly. say got out, you know, you <laughs> know, you got to get it. I was, like, got out? And then he was, like, <laughs> yeah, and I had to beg the general manager because I was telling him, like, hey, I want to move here. I want to learn new skills, blah, blah, blah. And I kept bugging him every day, every day, and then he finally got me out because... He earned, like, before he was, like, a regular associate, then he bumped up to general manager, like, in the span of six years, I guess. I don't know how. He just kind of tells him, like, this big, great story of, like, oh, manager, six years, I did it myself. And he, like, strokes his own cock. It's amazing. And he tells a story every time you bring it up. <laughs> Wait, was that, was that the dude that I talked to? Uh, No. The one you no. talked to was James. <laughs> yeah. No, James is the. He's I was I was I was trying not to use his name on the podcast. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's, he's an ASM. Oh, I don't care. Oh, okay. <laughs> he's an, he's an ASM. Okay. No, James, I was like, say. No, I'll say it right now. James is pretty cool. I like James. It's just the, like, whenever you bring up like the story, he like he just rides with it for a while and goes, "Oh yeah, I started where you were at. Work hard, kiss butt, do a bunch of stuff." I don't know who it was. Move up. Um, I met with like some. I'm not not to interrupt. Oh, I met with some woman. She was like badass. She was like, ask me these questions. Oh. She's like, oh, oh, she's like, oh, you work at FedEx? Like, tell me what you did. And I was like, I, I want to say that was Chris. I don't, I, it was like a Mexican lady. I don't know exactly. I don't remember who her name was, but like my, <laughs> my interview was like an hour. Cause we were just talking. <laughs> like it was just like, <laughs> I want to say, was it like with an elderly woman? No. She, I think was like I was, she wasn't very old or like brunette. I'm colorblind. blind. I don't fucking know. Yeah, I was going to say, he's uh, going to like... Answer the question! <laughs> <laughs> uh, but <no. laughs> regardless, he was like, I didn't get out till three years. And then I was like, man, I'm trying to work there part-time for three years. And then finally move up to a full-time position, which might not even be the one that I want. Yeah. It might be like deliveries or it might be you know, some department where I have to relearn all over again. And I'm yeah. like, I ain't trying to do that. Or at least yeah. I ain't trying to, to have it be that long to take me to get there. So I was like, man, whatever. So right now I'm in the swing of just like maybe transitioning jobs. I'm not haven't decided yet. I'm going back and forth. And then they try to hit us with the, um, so you know how minimum wage is going up in January, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, well, you think I know? I would assume. I'm here. just making no, I'm just making sure you know that you it's know. going up. So yeah. Well, so yeah. So find a, I know. yeah. Find a job. Oh, oh. <laughs> so it's, uh, it's gonna, I think it's going to be like 14 or 15. I wonder. I what is it going to be? So? 15. It's going to be 15 now, right? Sure it's 15? 15. It's going to be 15 an hour. Wait, wait, no. No, it's going to be 14. 14? Because I get paid minimum wage. I get paid 13. I get I paid 13. Which is garbage. 15? That's going to be up $2. So what? they pulled me into the office, and I'm already on the coaching. Oh, by the way, I'm on the coaching. <laughs> That's the probation for those of you. Uh, they say coaching because they don't want you to feel bad, but it's probation. Yeah, but it's pretty much probation. I get three more strikes, <gasps> and I get put on a final. After that, I get one more strike, and then I'm actually out of the ball game. So, that's like five strikes. I don't know how to play baseball, dude. <laughs> hey, man, I never played golf before, but I'm pretty sure that's a three pointer or something. <laughs> Probably you know something so, like that. Touchdown. It's like a foul or fucking whatever. Fucking higher, minimum wage is going up. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so, <laughs> no, but here's the kicker because they, they, I'm like at the desk chilling, and I'm like going over my orders, calling people like, "Hey, you haven't followed up on this order. Do you still want it?" Et cetera, et cetera, all that stuff. Uh-huh. I get called to the uh, from the manager. The general manager, and then I, I see it because it says one eight hundred or one hundred. <laughs> oh, one eight hundred. One eight hundred. Get your it money says now. One hundred, like flat, and it says general manager, and I, and I start sweating. I'm like, "That's is it. Where, this is where I die. <laughs> it's over. GG, go next." I answer, and I'm like, uh, "Omar Millworks," and he goes, "Hey, Omar, come to the training room uh, for me real quick. I need to talk to you." And I'm like, "Sorry, me." I see my and I'm like, "I'm fucking done. I'm fired." And I'm like, "I don't even care though." Get yeah. unemployment or something. So then uh, I get up and start walking to the train room. And then he sits me down. And then he goes, close the door. And I'm like, God damn it. <laughs> I'm like, no. <laughs> this is where I die. I'm going to check my pee pee. <laughs> but um, I close the door and I sit down. And then I'm already like getting ready to swing. Like, I hate this company anyways. What's up? And <laughs> I will go out fighting. <laughs> and then he goes and then he tells me, so Home Depot has invested in you. 
and all your work that you've done here, and we're going to give you a raise. And then in my mind, I'm like, well, it's about damn time. Now I'm like, okay, maybe I'll stay here for another like three years if I'm getting a raise. I mean, like, more what, money. What's no, the no, number, no, though? What are you problems? No, no, no. That is the pity raise, okay? No, They're yeah, about to drop some is. shit on you. It oh, is. yeah, no, I know. Oh, I know. So are you smiling over there? <laughs> they gave me I didn't an get it. I didn't FedEx get it gave me an extra three dollars because they're like, yeah, it's Christmas season. We want you to stay. We're gonna. We're, we're, we're oh, gonna eat they honey dicked you, bro. They honey dicked you so hard. Guess, guess how many pack? Guess the max number of packages I moved in one day. Three. Just me. Not six. not my group. Pa- just me. Probably about six. Three. Six. Three. Final answer. Seven. Three. Forty-two. I was close. Thousand. I was close. By myself. Rounded maybe. I thought, I thought he was gonna stop at forty two. I was like, I could have forty two thousand, bro. That's not even him. In one, yet, bro. N- not in one day. That's in, like in six hours. That's forty two gold, in like million, and like classic clans, bro. That's a lot. Calculate. Yeah, forty two. Yeah, I, 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 yeah, I did the conversion yeah. in six hours. By the way, <laughs> I had to get. I had bro, to how are your hands not bleeding, dude? Like six <laughs> hours. I can't imagine seeing forty two thousand packages. Oh, by the way, different sizes. Uh, of Probably. Uh, by the way, they don't give you lunch breaks on peak, so I oh. had one ten minute break Uh-oh. in those in those six hours. Ten minutes? I thought it was fifteen. I thought it was fifteen. I thought you were mandated fifteen no, minutes. Ten every four hours. Ten because we're part because we're part time. I'm part time. I get fifteen. No, we get and we I got, sleep on my fifteen. Yeah, I, was, I, I get I out like, in like thirty. Like, <laughs> I was like four hours. Every four hours, you're supposed you to get fifteen minutes. Mandatory. Nope, we get ten. Bro, I would unionize. You, no, bro. Fire. Everybody get fired. <laughs> Everybody get fired. Uh, Fuck, I forgot where I was going with the story. Ah, shit. So anyway. Oh, so he gave you the um, raise. So like, he like, we, 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 we're investing in you and all that stuff. And I'm like, well, it's about damn time. Like, I finally got recognized. Let's get it. And then he flips the thing and, he, and I see 15. And I'm like, you mother. <laughs> yeah, that's like, nothing. you actually did. Like, you, like, are you serious? Like, hey, for that's, real? That's two extra dollars. And then he, then he hits me with the, oh, no. It's like, we're investing in you because he's like, I've never seen this happen before at the Home Depot. Like. We're actually investing in our associates, which I'm very proud of, and blah, blah, blah. And then he tells me, because after a year you work there, your check goes up, or the rate goes up by a little bit. Yeah. So Every I was year, at 13, yeah. and now I, I got hit with 13.36 or 46, something like that. So I got 17.38. So, so I got some cents, and I was like, hey, I mean, it's I'm something. I'm with the pillows. Senor President. Okay, continue, continue, sir. And then I was like, I was like, whatever. And then he tells me, oh, you actually got a dollar and some change, and that's why you're at 15. And he goes, I'm hella psyched about it. Congratulations. And I'm just like, yeah. please tell me you did the head whip. Too. Yeah, did you do the head whip like yeah. that? He was like, yeah, hey, he did the head whip. Hey, that's I'm you so do. excited. <laughs> I'm so excited. And then he's like, all right, look, if that's how you give someone a ways, all right? Just so <laughs> yeah. you know, like, if you're giving money, give, give, so give him the head whip. Like. <laughs> and then, he, then, he, then he's like, okay. Like, Sign here. No, I would, here. Yeah, I, would, I would shake your hand, but COVID. And I'm like, yeah, please. <laughs> Uh, so, then, <laughs> um, so then I'm like, okay, cool, bye. I give him a fist bump, and then as I'm walking out, I'm sitting there like, man, he actually just like like honeycomb dick me right now. Mm-hmm. I'm like, what yeah. the heck? And then lit like he like, he starts calling other people to the office, and then I start putting it together. He's doing this to everybody. So one of my good buddies from Lumber, I told uh, he tells me, hey, so would you get pulled in the office for? And I'm like, oh, I got a raise. He goes, oh, okay, I'm pretty sure it's the same for everybody. And then he tells me, how much did you get, Omar? And I was like, oh, he gave me seventeen. And he looks at me with like mouth open. Yeah. Eyes, like, he was like, wait. Dude. He was like, I'm full time and you're part time and you're the middle associate. And then he got mad. And I was like, yeah, dude, he gave me 17. Like, I still think it's a rip off though because minimum wage. And then he goes, he starts ripping on me. He goes, fuck you and all that shit. And like, I am 15 and I'm full time. <laughs> I work double time than you. And then I'm like, hey, bro, I don't know what to say. It's because like I work on the computer and I'm able to follow up with orders and stuff. That's why, bro. And, he, and he's like, you're like, just get nah. good, bro. And then finally, like, I had enough of it, and I had my laugh, and I'm like, no, bro, I'm just kidding. He gave me 15, just like everybody just else. Fucking, and then he was just like, oh, and then he, like, felt really bad. He goes, uh, that's what I thought. And I'm like, <laughs> I got him. He's uh, like, <laughs> bro, you hurt his ego so bad, dude. I did, you hurt his I ego did. so that bad. That man was dead. You, he, he, <laughs> he was like, <sighs> he's all under demeciated, bro. All under demeciated. <laughs> so then all that stuff happened, and then what's even sad, too, is you know the guy I work with who's full-time? Everybody around the department, everybody who knows him, knows that he's done, that he doesn't care anymore. Oh, yeah. Because literally this guy who comes in, who always talks smack about everybody, but like, 
at the end just says, you know I'm joking, right? Or he goes, you know I'm just kidding, right? Just so he doesn't get in trouble or whatever. Yeah. Even though he's been put on finals before and yeah. all that stuff. But whatever. Me and him are talking, and he goes, hey, I have to be uh, in, in this department. You have to cover hardware and lumber and this for, like, about two or three hours. And then he starts telling me that, like, uh, you might want to leave stuff for Jesse, but I know he's not going to get it or whatever. And I was just like, bro, I don't even care. Like, it's whatever. And then he tells me, you know he doesn't care anymore, right? And I'm like, I know he doesn't care. And he goes, yeah, everyone everyone sees it. And he, like, lowers his voice and goes, yeah, everyone sees it. Like, everyone knows he doesn't care. And I was like, well, duh. Yeah. I, I, like, I, easy. I don't need to be blind to see that. Like, yeah. bro, I ain't even been here a year and I'm done. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> dude. Facts. So then all that stuff happened. And then basically... It's, it's 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 getting bumpy, I'd say at least, yeah. because people are getting more write ups now too. Oh yeah, uh, because some someone got a uh, power hungry, and got like a little bit of a a power surge, like they got booped up a little bit, and because of that oh, little boop, that little bump, she like power surge, bro. She's like right up, right up, right up, right up on everybody, bro. And they, and they all went through because the, to get the write up, they she they write them first, goes to the general manager, he looks them over. Then looks at the details, knows, and then watches you for a little bit, and then confirms yes or no. Because of that, because of that, all of them went through, and they all got written up. What? One was for like, well, yeah. When you send twenty at once, you really gonna look through twenty forms, watch twenty people at the same I, time? I don't know, bro. He Are probably really was just like, eeny meeny, this one, this one, this one, this one. All right, probably. he was just like, all right, you know what? There's so many. People one was for, one for one was for like safety. He wasn't wearing gloves when uh, lifting something. One was for that's what I wait. Said. They give you gloves? <laughs> yeah. Wait. Oh, I know he's on. No, they just make you make Wait, you bring your own. Wait, hold on. <laughs> hold on. They give you gloves? Yeah, I know it's a luxury. I know. <laughs> Trevor lifts his hands up. Has no fingers. <laughs> Bruh, you got they didn't. Even, he's got nubs. He's got nubs. We they didn't they didn't give a shit. Yeah. What? <laughs> I'm I'm like it's in a, shock. It's a, it's a luxury, honestly. But they're what? not even, they're not even good gloves. They're like the cheapo ones. But even then, it's <gasps> you, still. You do you know what we got? It's still good. Do you know what we got? Jack? We got an armband. Jack? And they oh. said, wear this. And fucking tied that shit on your arm so tight yeah. that you, like, I, I couldn't lift my arm above, like, halfway, maybe. No circulation. <laughs> no circulation. I had no, I'm serious. Yeah. Like, they said, like, armband. Okay, here you go. Have at it. <laughs> You're part of the club. And I was like, that's it. Ship, and they said, the yeah, crew. go. Go work. Part of the crew, part of the ship. Uh, she's <laughs> just writing people up just because she can. Yeah, but just because she can. Because she got that little power upage, and then she was just like, whatever. Boom, boom, boom. One was like for safety again. The other one was for like uh, lift equipment, not u- operating it correctly, That's which I get. But I'm like, eh, you know, they are dangerous. So I kind of yeah. saw somewhere like, okay. But she just had to talk to the guy, not straight up write him up. For yeah. Him. Another guy was, so we have a guy who works in flooring. He's a big guy. He has a thyroid problem and he has asthma. So he can't help when he coughs. Okay. And he has an inhaler, and he tries to control it best he can, but he still has this, like, little attacks where he has yeah. to cough a lot. And because corona season, um, she straight up told him one time, like, you know the meme where, like, hey, I'm going to need you to cock out? Did that to him. No. I swear. Did that to him. And then he was kind of – I can see that. He though. sit there and, like, that. was in shock and was like, are you serious? Like, I, and then he coughs and takes his inhaler, and then he goes, like, are you serious? Sure I'm pretty sure you don't have the power to do that. And she and she doesn't. She doesn't have the power to do that. She just straight up wanted to see if he would fall for it because of her authority and was like, "Hey, I yeah. need you to clock out." And he was like, "No, because I need this money for my house and all that stuff and and like for for the yeah, stuff he needs say, it for." Like that's not. I, I can see that because that's like. Then like one of the yeah. assistant managers called him into the office and that's was just telling good. him like, "Don't worry about it. You don't have to go home, but just do please try to keep that cough under control." And he goes, "I literally can't help it. Yeah. Like they just happen. That's like telling." Uh, some a guy fish not to fucking breathe. Or exactly, something. ton of fish not to swim. Yeah, it's just it's involuntary. He just has he just has those attacks. Yeah, I'm asthmatic and I have chronic sinus disease, so exactly. I cough yeah. and I blow my nose a yeah, lot. That's that's yeah. And I'm you, you, I'm you never guys, sick. Guys, I know you hear me like in chat. I, I, oh, yeah. yeah, I have to clear my throat because <laughs> exactly. if I don't, I can't breathe. Yeah, yeah, like that too. I got yeah. I have to clear my throat. If I'm not constantly I fucking, clearing it, I will fucking <clears> die. Like I, I will stop I inhaling. <laughs> so then before that, he really tried his hardest to like move stuff around, push sales, et cetera, et cetera, to make up for the lack of movement that he can't do. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. And um, literally, I think he was starting to slow down because he started to get really tired or he just couldn't really move as much. And then you could see, like, in his leg, like, from, like, almost like a shin down, were, like, puffy and red and, like, purple-ish. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the thyroid, yeah. Yeah. And I was just like, oh, yeah. 
like ah, like I feel for him, but I don't want to make him feel bad and be like, oh, like you need help because I don't want to make him feel yeah, like different feel either. Like, yeah, like you but can't. But like you if can't I see it. him struggling, I'm like, hey, yo, you need some help, bro? Like, hey, uh, I'm all alone in my department. I'm I got everything done. If you need to move some tile or whatever, I got you. And he goes, all right, thanks so much. If I need a driver, I'll let you know. And I'm like, cool. Then, uh, literally after she got that power surge, went up to him and wrote him up for. It was like. It's like a what was uh, she? They said it to me, or like a buddy said it to me, but I can't remember how he said it. But it's basically his work efficiency went down. Okay. And because of that, she wrote him up. I'm oh, basically saying he's slacking. Kind of. Yeah. 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 But yeah. like in a fancier way, like more jobish. Yeah. It's just they they just just use better words. Yeah, yeah and it's they're just basically words. saying like he's lacking it, or like he's he's lagging it, not doing as much work as he should be. Yeah. So she wrote him up for it, and then it went through, and then he was just like. Said, man, I'm trying. <laughs> like, I'm like he honestly is. And I feel <laughs> for him. So bro, like, that man could literally drop dead in his shift with the thyroid. Like, exactly. you can't push that shit on him. Yeah. And he, like, he walks with like because we have these little grabber thingies that we use to grab stuff like on different aisles, whatever. Yeah. Like, if it's way in the back, yeah. he uses it as a cane to walk with it because he because he needs that. He help needs that a little bit exactly. of support. No, no, yeah, really, the thyroid. Yeah, yeah. and then um, Catherine might have thyroid too, and Sean White, please don't like that yeah, shit. Like, it sucks. It does. And then basically all that shit's going on with me and my job and work. So like I said, it's getting bumpy, but like I'm pushing through. I'm still like getting up and like doing stuff. The only thing that like kind of gets me through or whatever is like hanging out with the dudes and then my girl and then just like hoping that things will get better and then just like get a better job. And hey, there's a light like at the end of the tunnel somewhere. Up. Yeah, there's there, you're gonna get you're gonna end up somewhere. Yeah, yeah. yeah I you. just like I know for a fact I don't want to stay here because if I did want to stay there, I would just like. Shut down, go full robot mode, and go do 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 whatever. I'm gonna stay here for the rest of my life, and I don't want that. I'm like, nah. I want to go further than that. I want to do like, ideally, it's like two or three bucks above above like minimum, Monday through Friday, and then the weekends off. That's that's the dream right there oh, yeah. for like anybody, honestly. Oh, yeah. Degree, no degree, high school diploma or no high school diploma. <clears throat> that's the dream, bro. Like honestly. that's, I mean, that's literally what I've been doing exactly for like the past. So I've been actually in in August. This year was I started my fifth year at at my the company I'm at yeah. the IT company because I started in high school so I'm in my fifth year now and it's like it's crazy it's been a long time coming I've been there for a long time my boss actually I probably should be talking into the mic right <laughs> fucking podcast owners don't even know what I'm doing <laughs> um, and so he uh, he basically was telling me the other day we were sitting at the at the table in the, like the in the kitchen in the Dining room at the at the office. Yeah, and he was like, he's uh make me a proposal, Sal. I was like, what do you mean? He's uh just make me a proposal. I go like business proposal. He's like, yeah. I was like, why? And he's like, I don't know. He's like, I'm uh, he's like, I'm feeling like I'm getting at the end of this for me. Oh, he's like, and I want yeah, I was like, I want mm. you to take over. I was like, I don't got the money. And he was like, no. He's like, I know you don't got the money. Right. He's like, you're a college student. He's like, you don't have any money. I was like, okay. <laughs> hey, true. I was like, true. And he was like, yeah. He's like, no. Make me a business proposal. Like a good business plan, mm-hmm. he's like, I'll sell you the business, and I was like, "What do you mean?" He's like, "He's like, I'm just, he's like, I'm getting old. He's like, I want a family, I want kids." He want a family? He wants a family. Oh, okay, I heard he has a family. He wants a family. Okay. He wants kids because he's single. Cause he's, ready to mingle? Oh yeah, he's dedicated so he much just, time. He said he wants a family. That's what that means. Hey, I mean. I can probably supply that family. I don't know. Yeah. About them, I don't know about them. <laughs> them kids, oh, Omar's about yeah. to give him. Oh, Omar's about to get get that rich daddy. I just say I'm about to inherit the business. <laughs> yeah, and right. so uh, what's up? So he basically was like, "Yeah, I want you." He's like, "You're he's like you're the only one here that's gonna have a college degree." I was like, "What's that guy do with anything?" He's like, "I don't know." He's all dedication or smart or something. Hey, it I makes was you like, look good, dude. I was like, "Yeah, you're right." So the other one I hear actually crying. Everyone over here just pencil pencil pushing, honestly. Yeah, literally, like the other two people there are doing their job, but it's like they're just there to just work the job and yeah, just yeah. So I mean, there's only three of us there, so I mean, I'm probably I'm I'm his best option at this point. <laughs> honestly, he's like I can go with dude who eats pencil shavings or a chick who sniffs the glue or Sal who's working toward the degree. <laughs> dude, let me think about that. Let me think I about wonder. that. <laughs> I wonder. And then there's, there's that like one guy who never shows up, but I still keep him. I don't know. I think I'm gonna uh, give to that guy. Yeah, give to that guy. <laughs> <laughs> he sounds like me. But uh, so yeah. So basically, he told me that, and so I've been thinking about that. I oh, I sick. came home. I told my dad. He goes, "We'll sell the house." I go, "What?" Excuse goes, wait, wait. Excuse me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> so, whoa, whoa, whoa. Why, why would you dog? wait? Hold on, hold on, hold on. 
Why do we we'll fucking live there? Why he, no, because he goes because they want to buy another house. They want to buy a big ranch. Oh, no, but no, I get that. But so he was like, no, so he was like, yeah, he's all, we'll sell this house. He's all, I'll give you 100k, and the other 200k, I'll take it to go buy my ranch. And I was like, 200. He's going to sell this for 300. That's what this house is worth. No well, way. Because how, how, how almost your, it's almost an acre I would of give land. Give you three dollars. It's almost an acre. It's almost yeah, an acre. Yeah, you can get oh, a yeah. good. Yeah, that's a good chunk of money. Oh, right and there. and I built this. This adds so much value to this no, house. No, yeah, right here is literally like another, uh, no, another home. Like no, 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 no. no. You, if you want to do, you could Honestly. cut it in half and sell both separately. <laughs> you <laughs> really, you put really a fence could. Right there? I mean, you really could. Could this call this like a small apartment? Yeah, like a small. I mean, I am gonna add a shower. I am gonna add a shower. All you need. Is water and it insulation. A, there's a bathroom and, and electricity. That's insulation, it. Electricity. It, th- you don't have to have AC. You're two you don't thirds have to have of the way there. I do have AC right there. But uh, no, I'm saying like you don't even have to have one to sell it. <laughs> you, taps you, it. you just need water. <laughs> you're two you thirds of the way water, there. You just need water, sewage, and electricity. Yeah. So I'm saying you're two th- you're two thirds of the way there because you yeah. have electricity. You have insulation. Like, yeah. You really could cut this in half and sell both. Honestly, not bad. Dude. Yeah, so that's what my dad was telling me, but Sick, dude. I don't know. I'm Shit. thinking about it, but I know I need I need a house. I know where I'm looking now. <laughs> hey man, I'm hey, saying man, like hey, you, all you I'm know. saying. Hey, all I'm saying is my parents probably gonna move next year, and oh, they shoot. said I'm probably gonna I'm probably gonna live here, so I'm gonna need a couple roommates. <coughs> hey, no, really, no, no, really. I'm, I, I need a house. My, I call this my room. Get out. Oh. I already come. I already come on the floor. Leave. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Wait, wait, over on this side or? <laughs> what? Yeah, what see, cut, Omar? Well, even over there. Hey, tell me exactly what where cut, I'm Omar? Let me, turn the, let me turn the black light on. It's, uh, it's, uh, where do I? Where? <laughs> you know where? Yeah, cause, yeah, cause we uh, we need a fucking house. Me and uh, Catherine. Look, man. For... All I'm saying is, if you do take over the business, like, yeah, hit me that, up. That, that's what I said. I'm like, yeah, I'm kind of, I'm kind of tech. I, kind I would deleted, train you. I deleted my th- system 32, but I'm trainable. <laughs> I'm a quick you learner. You learned from it. You learned from it. I learned. I learned not to go into my file explorer and delete the file that says the system 32. I learned that. Yeah. I mean, hey, I first hand. Like, Einstein I've found like eight million ways to not yeah. make a light bulb. You just found a way not to it, work a computer. Work a computer. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like quick I've learn. got like I've got um, like ba- even like Omar like I was like I was telling him too like yeah. I mean I've got like basic tech but like you know I can talk to people. Yeah. That's that's literally ninety percent. I know Omar. Ninety percent like of Omar, the job. We, we got the talking to people down. Yeah, ninety percent right. of the job is talking to people. The so. other ten percent is can you Google? <laughs> uh, I, I have trouble with that a little bit. Do you lie. Bing still? Is that the issue? Yeah, I still Bing. Okay. Right. I still fire him. We, fire him immediately. <laughs> we will upgrade <laughs> you to Google. Man. I still. I'm not gonna lie. On the low key, I okay. still open up okay. Internet Explorer sometimes. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yahoo Answers. No, we still do. We still yeah. use Internet Explorer for some businesses because like. I'm not even lying to you. you companies, to. companies still, still use Internet Explorer. Yeah. Um, and I'm like what? Home Depot does. I know Home Depot does. Home I've Depot seen their UI. Home, <laughs> runs runs everything on Internet Explorer, and it was crazy because literally, the moment um, the, it like routed to like when you open a program or like a shortcut, it opened in Google and Chrome, and then people got mad and they're like, "Why is it opening in Chrome? It doesn't want to load." Da, 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 da. Um, and I was just like, "Let me see." And then I see it. And then I fix it, and then go here, and then it pops up thing, and you're like, <laughs> he's, God, he's a he's god, he's a god. Like, no, raise Omar, know, smart bro, man. Just, <laughs> no, we give then, him more money. And then there was um, there was, there was like a white okay, problem. I think. Stop, stop, like knocking two stones together. <laughs> Fire, <laughs> unga um, uh, And then uh, there was one problem with one of the computers where it was not connected to the internet, and then it has like a Wi-Fi chip because it's one of those full Bell Dell ones. Where it's like the, everything's inside of it. Yeah. There's no tower at all. Yeah. So like. It's called an all-in-one. The all-in-one. Keep going. Keep going. Yeah, that's what I said. It's yeah. an all-in-one. No, you said all built in together. All built in one. That's kind of like I just threw yeah. an extra word in there. He had he, 90% he, yeah. there. I'm just, no, I'm just training that's you. Passing. I'm just training you, oh, just training you for he's later. testing you. This Sucks is now. your interview. Surprise. No. All right. Uh, uh, excellent <laughs> listener. After listening. Shut up. Uh, I saw your resume. I know what your qualifications um, are. <laughs> I've worked Office 65. Uh, oh, 65, willing, 365. Willing, willing to train. Um, look, 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 look. Suck you, you, you off. Joke I mean, now. what? <laughs> you joke now, okay? You want to know why FedEx takes so long to deliver your packages? Because they use Windows 98. Oh, I know. Gosh. I worked there less than a year ago. <laughs> I, really I know. Do, it's all DOS. It's like... <laughs> I'm serious. It's, everything's Windows 98. 
I, I because like um I there was I had to take a test. It was like just like a company survey. They were like, <laughs> "Hey, here you go." Uh, we're, we're gonna <laughs> He's ask gonna answer his answers in the DOS pro. I fucking I'm typing my answer in. I look up and it's I'm like I'm typing the previous answer because the second one didn't load yet. Bugger. It's literally like it literally Windows Seven, Windows ninety eight. Buggers. <laughs> all right, so, so so go ahead. What's up with the proposal? So so yeah. d- that's it basically. Oh, but okay. like I'm saying, so so the rest of my week um hasn't been too bad. Uh, I did. I've done a couple of things since the last podcast. I set up a projector screen outside. Um, I s- yeah, I know, I know. I set up a projector screen outside. Uh, and I bought a projector and stuff. And it's really nice. Like it worked out really well. Um, rooms pretty much all furnished. I bought a couple more like side tables and tables. I finally textured the doorway. I patched the hole above the electri- electrical box. Oh, you did. Um, we've been cleaning up outside. Um, besides that, uh, I did go get in and out with Omar. Uh, one night we went like a like a late night run and went and got in and out. Um, Remember that one Jack in the Box late night? They got good shit. Yeah. Hey, like, Jack in the Box tacos though. That is true. Fire. The the, the late night meals. The late night meals. Late night but meals. those like. Okay, so what yeah. happened that day too was I was hungry and he was hungry. I was hella hungry though because <laughs> I had words. Was my... that that one night that we were playing was it Sunday? I I don't I don't know if it was me and Carlos, but me and you were it was, playing. It was Zane. earlier in that day, yeah. Yeah, and we we were like, wait, where's Sal? We've been waiting for like three hours. Like, yeah, and then and then I got on later. And you you had just left a little while ago because yeah, Carlos yeah. told me, and then and then Omar hopped in and I was like. Damn, bro. Like, I had eight, but I'd ate dinner, but that was the only meal I'd ate in the entire day, and I was still hungry, but I didn't want to tell my no, mom I was still I hungry. No, no, I <laughs> so I was like, I don't know what to do. And so, I, in, yeah, in, in the Discord, I was like, hey, Carlos, in and out? And he was like, nah, I already ate. I'm good. And then, no, like, he said, I showered. I, I think no. he said, I showered. I don't know. <laughs> and then, no, and then Omar goes, oh, Omar was quiet, like, the entire time. Okay. And he hears in and out. He goes, in and out. Wait, okay, <laughs> hold on. Let me hear, hear my defense. I had just finished. I think it was Sunday. Was this was it not Sunday? No, it was. Was it when was Saturday? It? Saturday, it whatever. Was, yeah, it, yeah Saturday. Saturday. I had just finished yeah, yeah, yeah. my um, like ten to six, I think, or like ten to eight. Yeah, because you had just got on. Because I had just got on. I remember. And then I was gone. I got on, and I'm like, all right, let's boot up some Fallout. And then in my head, I'm thinking, dang, like I'm I'm really hungry, but like I don't want to eat right now. Like I'll wait a little bit longer. And I started playing Fallout, and then. Carlos and Sal are talking, and yeah, I'm, we're like, having a I'm conversation. ignoring it yeah. because I'm in a fight, and I'm because I'm playing Fallout Four on survival, yeah, yeah, and yeah. I ain't trying to fucking die. So I was like sweating. I'm like, all right, don't die. Crouch, eat, drink some water. Then For I those hear, of you who don't know, if you die in survival mode, you die. You are life. not going back. <laughs> you die in real life. You die in the game. You die in real life. Bethesda will come to your house and execute. <laughs> revoke, revoke your life privileges. Like, hey, your license of live is over. Wait. You look uh, at your watch. So your like, skin watch. And there's no time left. <laughs> I pop up my pit bling five billion. Yeah. And uh, and so like I'm just I'm just focusing hard. Then I hear Sal say in and out. And then my stomach growls and I just go. In and out, <laughs> and I was like down. <laughs> and then I didn't take him seriously because I thought he was just joking with me. And then Sal goes, "I'll pick you up right now." And I'm like, "Fucking do it! I don't care." And then he goes, "Okay, I'll pick you up in like 10, 15 minutes." And I was like, "Do it!" He leaves, and then I'm like, "Oh, it's fucking time. We're going." <laughs> it's, it's true. I hear I swooped, took him, we got in and out, like, and came back. No fucking problem. cop followed me at his house. <laughs> <laughs> a cop followed me. At the end of the night, it oh, was yeah, like no, yeah, it, was, no. it was like three a.m. What did they do? Well, yeah, at three a.m. Of course, we're gonna. Oh, f- oh boy, yeah, three a.m. Yeah. Oh boy, three a.m. <laughs> Look, if you Creamy. see two dudes in a car, a go drive to In and Out. Okay, and at back. three a.m., you're not gonna be like, oh, okay, what These are they guys. doing? See, then, <laughs> so we got to my house, and then like soon right after he dropped me off, I was heading to my door. I saw. A I was gonna back out, and the cop like got up right behind me. And wouldn't let me back out. Like, he made me move forward so he could go past me. I yeah. was like. <laughs> and then I, then I, I looked at Sal and I was like, ooh. Wow. <laughs> and I rolled my window down. You live right next I, to Omar. Don't I roll my window down and I yell. Have. And I go, if I don't text you in 10 minutes, he killed me. Uh, <laughs> I got, so I, I got, got you. I got his plate. <laughs> so then, uh, yeah. So then I went home this or whatever. This is one of those late night adventures. This is what, yeah. This is what saying. Oh, yeah. But. Yeah, let's uh, move into the topics because Jesus, we've been talking what for. What do you mean? This is a good podcast. What, what's the? We gotta catch up. What's the time like? It says like twenty five minutes. Why are you lying? Oh my god, forty two minutes, bro. This is good no, podcast. It's good material. podcast. No, mean? no, I love it. I love it. It's just I got it. Sal's trying to delete us out of the podcast. No, 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 no. Had a pod in like two weeks, honestly. Yeah, we, yeah, we have. I haven't been here. We gotta make up for that. Divide that by two. That's ten minutes. 
10 minutes into each pod each week. Look, look, that's three look, sections of 10 minutes. Look, all I'm minutes, saying three is, is 30, you cut it in half. Minus five, quick maps. Look, look, all I'm saying, you cut it in half. You lost me so And then you have two podcasts. <laughs> Take the Boom. derivative of five. Big brain. You don't even know how to do it. I don't even know how to fucking spell it. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I took calculus. I don't even know how to derivative. <laughs> what even is a derivative? Oh, man. Okay, okay. I was so, I was so excited because... I have siblings who have like the little school thing. Sorry, I know I'm like. No, no, you get, you get, no, like, okay, 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 I, have, I have siblings who do school, uh, online school. Hey, yeah, you're so stupid. I know what that is. Because <laughs> as I do my siblings, no, you guys hear me? Yeah, you hear me in the call. No, okay, my like, sister's right he, next to he's, me. He's, he's like adding or whatever. Like he's learning his timetable <laughs> barely. And then he's like, he comes, like, I'm chilling on the couch and I have to go to work like in 30 minutes. So I'm chilling on the couch. I'm like, oh, I'm like, I'll kill some time. He comes up to me and goes, Omar. And I'm like, yeah, what's up? He goes, how do I solve this? And I look at him and I go, I'm sorry, little one. And I fucking <laughs> cry because I'm like, dude, those are the fucking days when like math had numbers in it. <laughs> yeah. Math literally had numbers, numbers in it. And then I look at him and I go, enjoy okay, it. Okay, okay. Make it last. <laughs> okay. Can we take a moment to appreciate how math went from words to numbers back to words? <laughs> can, can we like a and then And then it, like, and why? Then it stuck on words for a while and then it went, hey, check this out. Symbols. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, but wait, that wasn't enough. Let's do words and symbols. Boom. Bro, and like I took t- big t- t- brain. <laughs> when, I took math, okay. when I took my high, like my last like two math classes in college, literally right. they were just word problems where it took a, a whole page to, yeah, to, yeah. to prove it. it. Yeah. yeah. It wasn't even it. like math. It was just proofs. And so you just like, you looked at it and you'd you like, okay. Any math. Yeah, 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 it was just a proof. Yeah, yeah, proof. And then yeah. it was like an essay and I was bad <laughs> at writing. So, so and I'm bad at writing, so yeah, yeah, I always yeah. did bad. Like it wasn't the math anywhere. It was just like I could, sometimes I couldn't explain it because I'm just bad at English. No, and then you go up to the teacher and go, "Hey, is this right?" And then he goes, "I know, man. It could be. Could be. It could, it not, could be. not be. Yeah, literally." And it's like, dude, fucking. Are you okay? Are you a criminal? <laughs> yeah, this is the exact opposite of math. It used to be math, exactly. is right or wrong. Catherine not it could um, be. What Catherine, is this English? Catherine is looking into getting her teaching credentials, and she's okay. like, she's like, she she's already already have like she's doing a practice test, and she's got like her uh, she had her CBS, which is just like oh, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. the test you have to yeah, take yeah, yeah, yeah. before you like start getting in the teaching program and stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, and she's like, hey, do you know the answer to this problem? And I'm like, I look at it and I go, that's a word problem. And she's <laughs> like, okay, but can you help me? That's a word no. problem. <laughs> I don't do words. <laughs> I do math. <laughs> True. This See, is facts. What, what uh, I did was I just saw a word problem, circled the numbers, and then put them all down on a piece of paper and tried to make a formula out of them. I was just that, like, the, uh, best I can fucking... do is about uh, A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Best I can do. Why equals M X plus B? That fucking problem I had to ask you for. Was, <laughs> yeah. that, that was Captain. Oh, that was Captain. I told you. Yeah, yeah. The percentage that was, that one? was one of the ones on the test, and I'm like looking at it like. Like I don't know what she did wrong. Like I'm trying to correct her mistake here. Yeah, but I don't even know what's going. I'm like, I I need someone who else does math. Yeah, I I look on my phone. I'm like, the first person I see, Sal. I'm like, okay, cool. Uh, Ah, Sal. And then and then I ask Sal, and he doesn't even reply with an answer. Fucking. I did reply with an answer. No. It did. That was me, bro. No, you, 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 I swear. I sent you the answer you did later. Not give me an answer. <laughs> yeah, later. Yeah, yeah, later. I was at, the, yeah, timer yeah, ran later. Up. I was at work. Later. <laughs> timer ran up. <laughs> I was at work. Too bad, buddy. What did you want me to do? GG, Omar, go next. Omar, three hours later. <laughs> GG, go I'm next. Like, I'm like, I text him, like, hey, you busy? Yeah, I'm at work, but I can do. And I'm like, okay, cool. I send him the problem. Three hours later. I got busy. It really, it really, <laughs> could, be, it really could be that way. It do be like that sometimes. You don't really think it'd be that way? <laughs> but it do be that way. Oh, I, I have a, one one more announcement before I we, we hop into the news because okay, I'm, I'm looking at my screen. <laughs> Fucking cracked my phone today. I'm so sad. Oh, Look at yeah. it. You can what s- did you do? I can't, I, so, it's too far away. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah exactly. uh, in case sad. you don't know, this is a social distancing podcast. Yeah, yeah. Not on purpose. We just all want to sit in comfy chairs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I... Uh, Basically, Trevor, it's like all right here. Oh, yeah. What What did you do? So okay. So I I run cable for my job a lot, yeah. and so because I'm the small I'm the small guy. Uh, <laughs> what about are you that one? To say, so. Yeah. No. No. Because like my no, other so buddies, I'm not a big cock. I've seen <laughs> my other buddies, like six five, and then my boss doesn't run it, and that's it. So <laughs> like that's yeah, that's all yeah. there is. Yeah. Why would he run it? He can pay someone else to do it. Yeah. And so basically, um, we were running. Uh, I was running electrical and. Uh, you started electrical internet, 
internet cables at a dentist office. It fell out of your pocket, didn't it? No, it was in. I was wearing it like a, a crawl suit, and it was in my pocket. But yeah, I'm crawling underneath the floor, and yeah, so yeah. like there's cement dirt on the bottom, like yeah, yeah. Blocks, I, I usually, I usually and work. then there's the floor. So like yeah. I'm squeezing between there. So at some point, which it was fine all the way there. I think on the way back, I was getting desperate because my mm. arms were like hurting. Tired, yeah. They were tired, and my legs were tired. And so towards the end, I, just, I was like rushing, oh, and I was like trying to get out. Yeah. I was like, "Dude, I need to get out because like I'm, I'm I can't anymore." <laughs> and at some point in that frantic crawl back, I crushed my phone with my thigh. I should show you Wait, the phone I had before this. And now I know. Okay, so I think what happened was when I was crawling, I I had the screen on my thigh on the, the first thigh. time, yeah, yeah, yeah. and I flipped it upside down, so, so my screen was facing the 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 uh, the cement yeah. on the floor. Right, right, right. Yeah. So that also reminds me of an awesome story. Really quickly though, like, go two minutes. Go. Okay. Arnan, working. I was fucking around behind the pallets. And my brother sent me a photo oh, saying, oh, bro. Like, I, I was Snapchatting him. And I was like, bro, work's hella slow. And he just hit me up like, hey, what's up? And then he tells me, wait, you in the back? And I'm like, yeah, why? And he goes, man, I used to hide behind the juices, build like a little, um, like a soda fort behind there. Oh, and no. then watch soccer back there. And oh, I was no. Like, I was like, oh, shit, that's kind of cool. And I'm like, you know what? I can top that, though, bro. And then, like, I, t- I hang up. And I'm like, all right, like, I'm stopped texting. I'm like, all right, hold give me, like, five minutes. I put my phone in my pocket, but the same way you did, like, on screen. Screen up, out. screen out, yeah. And so then I'm looking at it, and, like, ours are racked. So it's a three-rack high, one at the bottom, one in the middle, one on the top. Oh, no. So I'm thinking, <laughs> I'm thinking there's, like, a water uh, water pallet there. It's pretty high. I'm like, I can jump on that, jump on there. Then I can, like, pull vote over and go to the middle one. Oh, and then easy, go. yeah. Easy. In my head, I'm easy. like, I can do that, doing the calculations. He's like, mm-hmm. numbers flying past. <laughs> no, I was like, I'm doing 5,000 calculations, and they're all wrong. <laughs> 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 and so I'm like, I can totally do this. So I start, par- I start like, parkour, <laughs> parkour. And then I get to the part where I have to, like, pull vote and, like, use my... My hands to go he over and pull under. He wasn't. Yeah, he didn't have a pole. Yeah, he didn't have a pole. <laughs> no, I pulled over the trust Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, sure, sure. So I jumped and I make it, and then I use my upper body strength because you know I am swole. Yeah. And I go up, Appreciate and then like I kind of like <sighs> see Otter like onto, onto the, the middle thing. Yeah. And when I did that, my fucking phone went like this. Oh. <laughs> so, over like, the side, over the edge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The inside, and then right where the edges where the corner is on the beam. It kind of went, and I heard it crack, and I'm like, nah, I'm probably fine. So I finally got up there, and I'm like, <laughs> no, I'm good, I'm good. And I was like, ooh, yeah, this looks cool. And then, like, okay, I pass out my phone, try to Snapchat my brother, and show him where I'm at. I see my phone all cracked, and I'm just like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't even, even tell the, anybody about I, this. I, I, even I the best you, phone of them. I can show you the phone I got time. before this one. The <laughs> entire back is just, it looks like a fucking lightning. Um, it's, the, it's the case. Uh, it's the case. It's the case. It's uh, design. Catherine, there was one time in Anaheim where Catherine got in a tiny fender bender. And so, like, she called me, and I'm like, okay, whatever. I'll fucking go up go over there with our roommate, make sure everything's okay. And I'm yeah. over there, like, and, like, um, I'm, like, looking at her car, make sure it's okay and stuff. And then, like, as I'm, like, I'm walking, and I hear one of the, one of the, one of the cops. He's like, hey, is that your phone? And I'm like, <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, no. I pick it up. I just pick it up, and it's just, like, it's. Yeah, Even the, the best back is just fall down sometimes. <laughs> Yo, why did you? Why did he call it out? He's like, "Is that your phone?" It's crash. <laughs> but that's what I mean. He was just, he was just like, "Hey, is that your phone?" As my foot was like going down on it, he couldn't like, "Hey, watch out!" He hey, said, watch out! No, hey, Crying, is that pulls, your phone? pulls out gun. Hey, watch out! Pulls out oh. gun. Freeze! <laughs> what? But, is that your phone? Like, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, thank you, thank you. But imagine like you're about to step on it. And he's like, "Hey, hold on!" No, and I'm like, "What?" <laughs> You know, you panic and you like you still keep doing what you're doing. So yeah. I'm like, wait, what? So then, totally different story if Trevor was by. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> Trevor would have got shot. Yeah, phone so would have been fine. Whoa! Moral nobody of saying the story that. Is, uh, police breaks your phone. Yeah, police breaks your phone. police brutality. Yeah, exactly. All right, all right. Let's go. Okay, okay, moving, moving. First, uh, first news topic. I don't even remember what it is. What I put. Okay, got it. Got it's it. It's right like here. Ball, okay, for, we'll, we'll we'll talk about the second one first. So, Biden elected president. Shit isn't as crazy as I thought it was gonna be. Like I, I thought, honestly, I thought, thought the country would be on fire. Already. Yeah, I thought it was gonna go buck wild like, either way. I don't know. This is like, it would have went. I, so I feel like it would have gone buck wild if uh, Trump won. Yeah. Because oh. because I feel like all the like the the BLML people, the mm-hmm. uh, BLTQ, whatever, they probably all would have just started rioting because literally the day before the election like was gonna be announced, or whatever, like probably, the day before, yeah. 
you saw like on Reddit and like Twitter, it a was bunch insane. of stores, bo- a bunch of stores boarding up their windows yeah. and stuff because they knew it was coming. Yeah, like there was gonna be some havoc, but the only reason was because Biden won. So like literally all those activist groups were like, "All right, cool, he won. We don't have to riot." And everybody else was like, "Oh man, I don't think he. I don't think it was fair. I don't think he deserved to win." But okay, we'll just go back to work. And things moved on. Yeah, like crazy. I, I like, like, I want to take a second to like, like we did pretty good. Like I thought it was gonna be like the country was gonna be on fire. Already. Yeah, I thought it was gonna go like, bad. Like I thought it was gonna. Especially I was scared. After, especially after our past like four years. Oh, yeah. that we I feel like it was leading job. up to like Again, I told you another you. civil war, dude. Yeah, and we were about to peak. As long as uh, Trump didn't win and Biden did win. The BLM, the BLM, the BTQ, whatever, all the activation groups stayed like calm. They didn't riot. Why? Because the 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 old man won, not orange man. I That's I, totally I do I do kind of agree with that. I feel like if Trump That's won, I, I I'm not I'm not I'm not gonna say like if these groups specifically. Yeah. But it, it I think it would have been worse. It would have been worse. Yeah, probably. But if orange man would have won, yes, I feel like there would have been riots. Would have been. But the the thing is like. I, the thing is, like, Trump lost and Biden won. Yes. But the groups that are, I guess, marginalized now don't have, like, a lot of the groups that, that are, that are like, pro-Trump, like, a lot of them, Yeah. they don't lose, I feel, as much. Mm-hmm. I, I see what you're going from there. So like, so, like, they're like, damn, that sucks, but, like, four years, we'll get another one. Exactly. Yeah. And, that, and that's how it, sh- it should be. That's how I think all politics should be. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. like... We, we sit here as, like, educators and have a scholarly, scholarly discussion where it's, like, I'll tell you my political views. You tell me yours. I'll agree with some. I'll disagree. Or maybe we won't find common ground at all. But that's all it will be. It won't yeah. progress to me yelling at you. It won't progress to you yelling at me or me threatening to, like, Or even, like, four fight years ago when they're, like, oh, not my president. Like, exactly. At least you can be, like, okay. I don't like him. I don't respect him. But it's but four like, years. But it's four years. Yeah, it's, it's no just, big deal. It's four years. He's it's not. not a, he's not. He's not our fucking dictator for fucking for his forever. entire life. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Like so, like people like yelling like Biden's gonna take our freedoms away. He might. I'm not gonna say he's the best option, but you know. But hey, like, the the best you can do is give like, him a shot. Okay, he's my president. It's only four years. Exactly. I'll, well, let's see I'm, what he can do. Like, exactly. I want people to be more open minded about the whole thing, and instead of um. Like I mean, pointing yeah. fingers or yeah. then like saying, oh, old man, blah, 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 he sucks. No, I'd say, okay, he won. There's nothing else we can do about it. Give him a shot. If anything, it's just like, like Sal said, it's four years. Yeah. There's no it's big just deal. four years. We get, maybe we get another guy. Maybe we get him for another four years. We won't know until maybe then, until he like better what, in the next four years. If you keep doing that to your cable, it's going to come up in the audio. Wrap it around the, the arm, your cable. Yeah, like which one? That one, yeah. Wrap it up like on the arm up there, so it doesn't get feedback from you shaking your leg. Shake your leg. Yeah, yeah. There, there you go. Ready. There you go. Um, no, yeah. So I mean, that's because like, okay, honestly. So the way I saw it was, I voted in the midterm elections two years ago. Right. And ever since the, what happened in the midterm elections, a lot of seats turned blue. Mm-hmm. And what did that do? Stopped pretty much almost all and everything that Trump wanted to pass. Exactly. Why? Okay, so we gave him two years. A lot of us didn't like what he did, mm-hmm. so we voted in Democrats. Mm-hmm. In two years, if we don't like what Biden does, you just vote in Republicans, yeah. and that stops exactly. him from passing anything. Exactly. If we if we like what he's doing, okay, we'll, we'll keep a Democrat, exactly. and we'll, we'll we let him keep. We won't know until 2025, no, or 2024? 2024, yeah. 24, sorry. We won't know what he did until then. Exactly. Yeah. So and it's you this know is when like the Terminator guy comes in and goes, well, you have to stop him now or, or something like that. <laughs> yeah, then, yeah. Then, then I'd be concerned. Right. Then I'd be a little concerned. <laughs> then I'd be like, okay. Look, hey. All I'm saying, he hasn't showed up yet. <laughs> yep. Yep. Hydrant, you know. There's no power surges lately. I mean, he hasn't come up to my window and go, "We're Sarah Connor." <laughs> Everybody, We're please. Sarah Connor. <laughs> We're Sa- we must <laughs> take John Connor at all costs. John Connor. All right, let's move on to the next one. Kay. So this one threw me for a loop. Okay, so when I was driving home today, my Google my my YouTube music my YouTube was messing up, but I guess YouTube's yeah. having issues right now. So yeah, YouTube it kept having issues, and then all of a sudden it popped mm-hmm. up and it said, um, "Would you like to claim your free gift?" And I was like, "Hell yeah!" Ad, <laughs> and oh, it was like, yeah. "No." It said Google Stadia. So, all right, I wrote it here. So Google Stadia gifted me a free month of Stadia, That's a cool. Chromecast. Stadia is like their online streaming for games. Ooh. Yeah, it's disgusting, but okay. Uh, so they gifted me a free month <laughs> as I get a free gift, right? A free month of Stadia. 
Okay. A Chromecast and a Stadia controller for having YouTube Premium. So yeah, like, really? they said basically it's like a hundred bucks, which right. I I believe it, like because it's the controller. The, the, no, the Chromecast, Chromecast is like a hundred yeah. itself. Yeah, it is. Yeah, the Chromecast, the controller, and a, and a free month of it. Which I looked it up; it's only ten ten dollars a month. But hey, it's a free month, whatever. It's not bad, man. I'm gonna cancel it, but hey, it's a <laughs> no, month. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They you. So, but the thing is, like, because I don't know if you guys remember, I posted it where. Where the the creator, like one of the creators of Stadia, oh, here we go. was like, here we he go. was like, I think streamers should have to buy licenses to play their games on Twitch. Like they shouldn't be getting free handouts from developers. Yeah, they should have to pay yeah. to use games. And I was like, you never heard of paid and exposure? Like you're playing their games, people see your Look, games, people go buy it. Look at Among exactly. Us. All I'm saying is Among Us. Among Us. There is a reason yeah. why Stadia did not succeed. Right. It's so, not yeah. very. So Good. that's my question. Why would I pay $10 they gave me a, month? a lot of stuff for exactly. free. Exactly. So is it because no, they no, 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 to you try know, to influence it's others to try? You, they, they do you know? You know what happened to that guy? Look him up on Twitter right now. You know what happened to him? Look him up. What happened? What, he got, got uh, fined or what? No, Google moved him down a seat. Dang. Oh wow. Yeah. He, they literally moved him down a seat. Like in the in the branch of Google or what? No, they moved moved him to a different apartment and moved him down a seat. So you went from up here to now you're down here, buddy. Yeah. Um, well, because I mean, he was giving out free stuff, which Google no, was not really. No, 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 he no, wasn't. No. They moved him down a seat last week, like maybe oh. 24 hours after his, after that post he oh. made. No, he made a post basically talking about that whole like streaming stuff. Because oh. he apparently he's been a creator for other games and stuff. Yeah. Got it. Um, okay. but, but he like, basically was bashing the, the entire you, idea you know, the of whole, Stadia. Like, Twitch thing going on right now, where Twitch isn't protecting the like uh, they're not defending their. Uh, I'm a Twitch streamer. Ban me right now, Twitch. I don't give a shit. Um, Twitch is like not protecting their their uh, content creators right now. So a right. lot of them are getting DMCA'd Damn. Uh, and copyright claims for music that they're playing on stream. Even if like they say, hey, this is the music I'm playing. You click on the playlist. These are all the rights to the music I have. Yeah, see, that's why I just go to SoundCloud with my own beats. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> on SoundCloud? On my even like... Uh, I don't remember who it was exactly. Someone, one, um, some streamer got copyright claimed for a, a music that was hers. Copy strike or someone copy? else copyright claimed her. <laughs> Twitch, <laughs> Twitch banned her channel. Right. She for her own music. For her own music that she produced. Nice big pog. Yeah. Easy. And, See, and so and then and then you songs, know play them in and reverse. then like Continue. and then. Twitch streamers were complaining about it, and right. that's when he made the post, like, oh, he sh- they should have to pay for all this. And then mm. people started attacking him, like, hello? I was like, because <laughs> Stadia, Stadia is literally just a live, it's like, it's like a, a streaming platform. Yeah, so you don't like own the Twitch. games, you just, yeah. yeah. Like, it's a cool like, concept. No, no, what I'm saying it's is really he literally cool bashed concept. his own idea like, at yeah. that point. Like, yeah. you're bashing, like, oh, well, you should have to buy streaming. Your fucking whole platform is streaming. Yes. Exactly. Like, that's the only thing your thing does. Yeah. I was so confused. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, and then it's just like, and then yeah, they bumped it down. Yeah, I'm like, wait, doesn't YouTube have like a go live feature too? However, yeah, it does. Yeah. You should cl- claim that because the Chromecast is awesome. Yeah, that's why I, I was like, I was like, I, bro, I, I got I it for one. the Chromecast. That's it's the only reason I got it. It's worth it just for that alone. Yeah, you got YouTube. I'm gonna check mine when I get home. Yeah, it's premium. I have YouTube yeah, YouTube premium. premium. Yeah, it should it should send it to you. If not, check your email and claim that sucker fast because they will go out. Because uh, like two months ago. Uh, they did a promotion where you would get a Nest Mini for free if oh, you had YouTube Premium. I, 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 I claimed that. that the first I didn't have day. It two months ago, but two days or three days later, yeah. I checked back. They only had one color left of the four colors. Yeah. They just fast because everybody claims them real quick. Yeah, again, oh, like, yeah, why yeah, would dude. you not? Like, yeah, free stuff, bro. It's free, dude. The Chromecast yeah. though, that's a good, that's pretty real stuff. Yeah. So that's why I was like, I was like, it's nice and all, but like this says a big thing about your company. If you're giving <laughs> me all of that, look, all I'm like it means it's failing. There's a reason why. Stadia didn't really succeed. I mean, I'll agree, I'll agree with Trevor. It was a good idea. It's good a cool concept. concept. But it However, was executed very poorly. Also, I don't know if you know, um, I think, it, I don't remember if it was Razer or NVIDIA. Right. Um, they they said, hey, you know what? We're going to re- we're gonna make it the thing Google has. They did that. They, mm. they released it the next week. And it, I think, I want to I say it sailed, it sold uh, tw- like twice as, twice as much as Dang. Stadia. Because it was available everywhere, not just like you know to Google users. Because again, um, Mac can't run games even if it's on Stadia. 
Yeah. That's true. That is true. <laughs> it, it, it still can't. Yeah. So, but that one could. Exactly. Oh, so you cut out like half of your. Yeah. Or more, maybe more than half of your yeah. audience. Because people, yeah. do, people do have uh, MacBooks only because. Like, I, I, I get uh, it. Like, I have. I well, have an iPhone. I do like my it's, iPhone. It's brand but I'm loyalty. I'm never honestly. getting a Mac. Like you can't. I'm, it's I'm, brand loyalty. It's, it literally is brand loyalty. Because literally, like when um, when I would go to college, literally, like, well, I, I want to say fifty five um, or like sixty percent of the laptops there. Well, no, like MacBooks, um, like Air Pros. I, Apple sponsors a lot of schools, so that's why they have a lot of MacBooks at school. Yeah, because they. I think you meant like school. like individual students. Yeah, no, I'm, that's, that's what I'm saying. I'm saying but individual like, students. But as far as not, students go, yeah. Yeah, like, student, like I want to say like 60, 50% of the time. I will say Air Pros or MacBooks. Apple is easier to use. It just, once you start <laughs> getting into the high level stuff. Okay, he, no, he's right. He's right. Okay. So, no, at, it took me three seconds to set up this phone. Right. My dad had his iPad. And he was like, this is, he's like, this, this, he's, he was making sure like this is the phone you want, right? He hovers his iPad over my QR, QR code on my screen. Mm-hmm. It went, okay, okay, Danny, your phone is ready. And then just said, type in your password. I typed in my password and it was good to go. There you go like, yeah. that was it. Yeah, simplicity. That's the it thing. Was so easy. Yeah. Apple, I'll give it that. Apple I'll give is it that. very, very easy to use at face value. Yes. Like, if you're just going to use it it's, for like it's a normal. Per, it's, it's really good for students because you don't have to worry about all this other stuff. It's yeah. ready to go. It's got it, It's got its own like antivirus. It's ready. Like, yeah. it's ready and it's good. It's easy to use. That's what I'm saying. I'll, I'll, I'll give Apple and like Mac, Mac, uh, Mac product that. The simplicity, guess, yeah. The simplicity, yeah. But the like moment you, ready to ready to go right off the window, when as soon as you buy it, I'll give it that. Yeah, it does. Yeah. The moment you start getting into other stuff, though, you know, you yeah. gotta kind of yeah. Like yeah. Yeah. The moment you try out. to go more than that, you try to go deeper than any of like just the like the the, the, the surface, the, level? The surface yeah. level. Yeah. No, it's terrible. It's so hard to work. If you use with. Linux, <laughs> though, I'm sorry. <laughs> Actually, okay. So like, like I don't use it, but I know how to because yeah, like yeah. a lot of the computers there, the engineers, a lot of them. Only use Linux. Yeah. yeah. Like, especially like the high level, like because engineers it's, you know, it's got on that campus. Higher, higher, yeah. Like power capacity. Yeah. A lot of it's, the engineers on campus better. work yeah. out of a Linux yeah. computer. And I'm like, that's disgusting. <laughs> like, like, it's disgusting, but, you know. Yeah. No, so. it, it reminds me too because literally, um, I was hanging out with my girlfriend and we were just sitting there in the bed, just chilling. <laughs> and then she kind of just, um, she starts like bagging on MacBooks. And I was like, what? You don't like Damn, it? Girl. And then she was like, well, I do. It's just that. I think I bought the wrong printer. I'm like, no, you bought the wrong laptop. You should have bought a Dell or like a Windows. Oh and then she goes, no, it's the printer because my Mac won't connect to the printer, so I can't print things. And I'm like, no, you bought no, the wrong laptop. No, yeah. That is human error. <laughs> Apple won't tell you that it exactly. doesn't cooperate <laughs> What's because that? it doesn't. So we call it in the in the industry a, a chair key error. Oh, okay. The error is between the chair and the keyboard. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, but it was pretty funny because we went on for like a while, and then I was like, "Well, I'm sorry, Mrs. I have MacBook and blah blah blah," and then she was like, "Oh, at least I don't have Windows and blah blah,", blah. and I'm like, "That's exactly what I have." And Look, she's like, oh, just oh, because my <laughs> is, just because my PC works better than yours, yeah, yeah exactly. Doesn't need to you mean you need to be. I, was, I told her, I'm like, bro, I will legit go to Best Buy and buy you like a work computer, or whatever. If you really want that, because like I'll just like put it on the card or whatever, pay it off. I I won't you can like blink an eye about it. And she was like, "No, I like my MacBook." Because blah, 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 this, this. And then I start, like, ripping on, like, the stuff she doesn't like about it. And I was like, what was that? And she's like, shut up. <laughs> shut up. Shut up to say after a day. Exactly. All right, all right. So, okay, we're going to put a little bit of sports in here. Sports ball. Man. Look, all so, I'm saying is you're the only one that yeah, can man, talk. That's, that's all you, bro. <laughs> my, favorite, my favorite team is If Steven is, uh, is here, you know. Maybe, wait, yeah. Steven likes it? Baseball. He likes baseball. But he at least I watches sports. It. You know what I mean? I yeah. get behind it a little bit. Yeah. Well, he's Guatemalan, so. Guatemala? Guatemala. Oh, okay, yeah, mistake. <laughs> okay, he, so, he at least watches sports, you know what I mean? Like, so, we don't like So at that. work, I had this chick come up to me and goes, hey, what's your favorite baseball team? And then I was just like, I don't know, it's a little co-worker? Yeah. And I was like, I don't know. And then like, give me no, a second. No, it's just some random lady walks up to you. No, no, it's a co-worker. <laughs> okay, okay. And then she tells me, like, what's your favorite baseball team? I'm like, hold on, give me a sec. I open up Chrome, I look up baseball team logos, and I go, hmm, that one. And she was like, do you even know the name? I'm like, no, but it has a cool logo. So that one. And she just looked at me like, oh. Just what like, team was it? A bad it, was, um, it was a tie between the one with the swordfish on it. The Marlins? Yeah. And then yeah. the. Yeah, uh, they, got a, they got a cool logo. Though. Yeah, they do. Yeah, that's the why I know. 
<laughs> See, I, I know like the pirate names, theme one because I thought of game I plan. Forgot. Yeah, I forgot. Yeah, AJ money. Are you talking about? I, I, I know like teen. I I don't really. I, okay, I do watch sports. Yeah, I don't yes. keep up with it at all. Uh, yeah, I just, I just like I, I like seeing like it's really cool to see That's how the these athletes Marcus perform team? at the That's highest me. level. That's what's really interesting to me. Yeah, so like I watch football just because mm-hmm. my family's big on football, but like yeah. like my cousin Mordecai, he follow like he knows all the players on the team. No way. I sit there and I'm like, I know the quarterback, I know like one wide receiver. I know, I know the guy who who really matters. And that and that's about it. Like that's yeah. like he'll be like, oh, that's that's our tight end. The only football player I know is Captain. I'm like, okay, that's yeah. It. That's all I know. <laughs> <laughs> that's all I know. Okay. The only so, guy I know is uh, uh, John Wilkes. Booth. Yeah. <laughs> what <did I> say? <laughs> <laughs> all right. So he never, hey, he never he didn't miss. He, he, he don't miss. Hey, he, I don't guess miss. he never miss, huh? No miss. So uh, so I'm I'm a Miami Dolphins fan. For those of you guys that don't know about <laughs> sports, yeah, they're okay. So Bro, the Dolphins it. started uh, Tua Tag Tua Loa as their quarterback. He's a rookie drafted this year, but the issue is th- the reason they didn't start him right away at the beginning of the season because mm-hmm. we're like week eight now was because he was recovering from a hip surgery because they like messed up his nice. hips in college. Yeah, and so okay, so they have a veteran quarterback that they they bought or they they gave him a contract for like just a year. Mm-hmm. Like, hey, we need you to fill in for a year. He's a fourteen year veteran. Right, mm-hmm. so he was doing pretty good. Like I think we were pretty even on the score, and like we were starting to gain momentum. Like we were starting to win a couple more games. We were okay. in like a three-game nice. winning streak, right? And then all of a sudden, they put Tua in at the end of a game that was like a blowout. And so like he got a couple plays in, and everybody was all hyped or everything. Mm-hmm. The next day, the news come out. News comes out. Tua is going to replace Fitzpatrick as our quarterback. Wow. And and then it was like kind of torn. It was like you. You got you got this seasoned veteran over here, fourteen right. years, right? That that's like put your team on his back, and it was like I'm gonna care. Like he was like, this is my team. I'm gonna carry this team. Facts. I'm gonna do everything I need to do for this team. Facts. And you got your rookie, which yeah, like he killed it in college. He was amazing, but then he had that hip surgery because of everything. So he's been resting. So like he has those potential, but you don't know. So we played him, and then this past week he played, and he did fairly good. Right. But people were still like. Is he gonna last? Yeah. Like, was it was it a good idea to put him in now? Should we have waited it out, let Fitzpatrick finish the season, mm-hmm. or if Fitzpatrick gets hurt, then put Tua yeah, in? Put in yeah. So, like that. That's my wow. question. How do you guys feel about like? Is it better to trust the season vet? Or are you gonna try your, like if you or, or would you try your your luck on the rookie that comes so in that's hot? With me. I'll never forget this because literally it was told to me by. Look at the booze finger, the cleanse. <laughs> <laughs> it was told to me by one of the professors, or not professors, uh, teachers at our high school. And I think, uh, I think you'll know it by the quote, maybe. I don't know. Because he, he kind of like coached the cross country. I know. Yeah. Okay, cool. So he was, just, he basically said, you get one set of geometry and that's it. If you mess up anything, break anything, have surgery, that, that one set is gone. Like, you will never be able to bend it the same, twist it, shoot, hit, whatever, Pop the same it, because yeah. of it. And so if the rookie had just gotten a surgery and I would, and he did fairly well, even though it was a blowout, I mean, I would want to stick with the veteran only because of his experience and the, his favoritism to the team and the, his, like, crowd favorite. And honestly, if they, would, if they do mm-hmm. end up, like, taking him out and putting the rookie in, I feel like it's going to mess with like their sales, honestly, or the team morale. And it's, they're going to get a lot of negative looks because like, oh, man, why does he get to play? Because blah, 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 and all that stuff. But I feel like I should just stick with the veteran, dude. See, but then what, if anything but happens. what if he does good as the veteran? You know what I mean? Like, you got to at least give him like some kind of chance. Yeah, no, like I'm saying, like, I'm not saying bench him the whole, like. <laughs> yeah, the, the entire the time. Match, yeah. But I'm saying like every now and then, like if it's a close ass match, yeah, maybe don't play him. Yeah. But like, like on a blowout like on that. On a blowout. Throw yeah, him in there, let him get throw some him plays in. There, in. See how he hits, see how he throws, or whatever, or see how he plays a base. Especially that because you know when the when the blow, you're under pressure. You you're gonna know how he is under exactly. that pressure. Yeah. You know because if you have a lead, you know, yeah, maybe yeah, throwing him in if he messes up is because like I think was he it him or was it, yeah, it, or was it the lead? It was a blowout the other way. Blow, blow we, out the other way when you're winning a lot and the team the other team's losing. You have I know that, that's what I mean. No, so like we were like. 40, 30 points ahead. Yeah. So we yeah. just threw him into like, hey, just throw the ball around, kind of just get a feel. So like, oh, okay. you have you have it, it backwards. Okay. You have it backwards. Yeah, backwards. Yeah, yeah. Well, you said blowout. I don't know which way it is. <laughs> I, I knew that one only because like of I, I, I league. Know, league probably. Yeah. I guess I don't know, but like I, I get where you're coming from, and I, I get know what that. You mean too. Yeah. But 
But again, but, you know, my, my point. Yeah, your point yeah, is yeah, same. Your, your point's still valid. I get what you're saying. Because even then, like, yeah, that's also a good way. If it's a blowout the other way. Oh, yeah. You're yeah. like, hey, maybe we set the veteran out and let the kid yeah. see if he can kind of. If he can cut it. If he can cut it. Because if, cause if he's going to. Because if the rookie's mentality should always be try my best. Oh, 100%. Yeah, I got to make – I'm doing this team. I'm going to make myself I'm, known. Yeah, yeah make, myself, make my team proud, make myself known. Yeah. So if it's a blow out the other way and then the coach puts him in and then he goes, okay, I have to literally play my best, make sure they don't score anymore or, like, make sure I strike this guy out or whatever. Yeah. yeah. And then he has to put that pressure on him. So I can see how it works the other way, which you're right. But, again, I would just stick with the veteran and then if anything happens, like if he got hurt – or if he's like you have this quarterback that yeah, yeah. Exactly. that can just shoot just in case just in case yeah just in case exactly you, you know maybe even like start start the other veteran just in case yeah, yeah, like yeah. in the beginning if, round if you know it's gonna first quarter or whatever yeah. yeah 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 see what happens because like I'm used to like esports kind of like with Omar you know yeah. where they usually favor rookies you know what I mean oh, yeah. they they bring rookies in all yeah, the time and only because people are always that's cycling. the thing is though like I realized that this year like this is my first year. Really paying attention oh, yeah, to the esports, watch, yeah, watching yeah. league and oh, stuff. Yeah. Rookies, they talked about like, rookies oh, all oh. the time. Okay, so the reason they yeah. talk about rookies so much is because it's fresh blood, fresh vein, fresh uh, no calluses or anything on the fingers. Their reaction is almost like top notch because they've been trained. They've been trained, yeah. and that's why they want the rookies in there first. Whereas like the veterans are getting kind of old. Their reflex, like, their reflexes aren't what they used to be. They're not able to dodge those skill shots maybe now. Or even like in the case of Faker, like you know, he felt like. Um, you know, it, it wasn't exactly his fault, but he felt like because he was yeah. on top of the, his team, so he mm-hmm. felt like if he messed up, he that whole that team all is that down pressure, yeah, because he he was so he the felt best he was the team, yeah. The best. He yeah. Was the team. He, yeah, yeah. You watch SKT for Faker, yeah. You didn't exactly. watch for everybody you, else, you, and everybody like has to know Faker. If you watch League or Nova League, you at least have to know yeah. about Faker because yeah. the memes, just of his potential and everything, yeah. Yeah, but not awesome. even the means. Like, you know, he was that team. He mm-hmm. was esports. And because of that, you know, he was kind of bringing everyone down because he was up at the top. Exactly. There was no there was no other competition. I just hit the mic, sorry. Okay. There was no other competition. Like there was he there was only it was, league was only faker. Exactly. Yeah, and that and that's the thing. That's why like whenever you like cause me, if I like coached or anything like that, like I would always wanna put in the veteran. Just mm-hmm. because like the experience. So for me, like growing up, whenever, so like I always talk about, like I always related to band. So when I played an instrument, I, I was really shitty when I started out. Like mm. I sucked really bad. So I sat like right at the end, like, because you sit by chairs. Like the best person sits first chair and the yeah, suckiest chair, person chair, sits chair. at the end. Yeah. I was like second or third from the end. Like I was really oh. bad. There's no, nobody in my family does music. Like there's no really musical talent in our family. Mm-hmm. So like I was like, I want to do music because that's new and interesting or whatever, mm-hmm. right? I remember I wanted to play trombone, and my band director was like, there's no more trombones. And I was like, all right, I'm out. And he was like, no, 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 come here. He's like, here's a trumpet. I go, is it like a trombone? He's all, kind of. Like a small. Yeah, he was like, there's buttons. And I was like, there's only three. And he was like, yeah. I was like, oh, it's easy. 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 Three buttons. Hey, you money. Hey, money. Yeah, yeah. So, like, I started playing, and I was doing really bad. Uh, Fifth and sixth grade, I kind of just, like, played or whatever, like, like everybody else. And it was like, whatever. Seventh grade starts, and I was like, I want to get better, but like, I'm garbage. Like, I try, I would try, but like, I just, I wouldn't, like, I wasn't getting anywhere. And like, I didn't have my own instrument, so like, it just, just sucked. And then the summer between seventh and eighth grade year, my band director gave me his personal cornet, which was like, it's like a, it's like a shorter uh, trumpet. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's a lot harder to play because of the tubing it's and stuff. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. And okay. so, like, he, he gave me like a really nice one. But the thing with the cornet is like, it takes a lot more technique to play it. Like, yeah. Face wise, yeah, yeah. than a trumpet. The, the face muscles. For yeah. It. yeah, and so he was like here, and so he, he would like call me all the time and check on me and like, hey, like come to the school and play and like, so he was like training me all summer, mm-hmm. and so like I don't know, I sat near the end of seventh grade year. When I got there, eighth grade year, he like handed me the first part and goes, "You're sitting first chair." Hey. And I was like, "What do you up. mean?" And he was yeah. like, "You're sitting first chair." And I was like, "But I'm not the best." He's like, "But you're gonna lead everybody else." I was like, I want you to lead the section because, like, I, nice. I can see that you, you work hard. Yeah. And so that's why I always, always reward hard work over talent. Yeah. Like, yeah. I've always done that, and I always will. Because, because for the guy who just picked it up and was like, oh, this is easy, plays really well, he didn't have to work for it. He didn't have to sweat for it. Yeah. He didn't have to, like, put in the time, yeah. effort, and work. So what happens when you get down, you yeah. know? And like, what happens? when it's natural talent, you know what I mean? Like, if yeah. someone, someone steps in, exactly. like an orphan around, they're just really good at it. Yeah, they're really good at it, but, you know. And they can't that, always do 
this stuff, you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, like, or the guy has always done everything his way, and the moment, like, he messes up, or the moment that he, the professor or teacher goes, no, 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 you didn't pay at my tempo, then he's kind of like, oh, what? Like, I, I thought I played at my own, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And then he gets self-conceited and goes, or th- when he messes up, he goes, wait, I messed up? That then that never yeah. happens. I don't yeah. know what to do now. I kind of exactly. I guess I suck. Whereas yeah. the guy who tried hard goes, okay, I messed up again for, like, the 12th time. I'm going to try it again and do better. Yeah, exactly. And that's, that's the thing because when I was in high school – uh, it happened again. Happened yeah, to me again. I I, I didn't sit at the end, but I sat at the end of the first trumpets. Mm-hmm. Like he put me at the end because once again I wasn't the best player, and so then I like I started playing, and like the first three people that sat first chair mm-hmm. all quit after our first year because they just couldn't handle it. Like they just were like whatever. Hang. Like they were like yeah they couldn't hang. So he was like, I got you. He was like, well I got you, and he was like, can you step up? And I was like fucking yeah let's do it let's do it and so i did and so like i would always work hard so in my section i had talented people and i had people that worked hard Mm -hmm. and the talented people were always like trying to get my and i was like that's Mm -hmm. great that's great and then i'd give them a really hard piece and they'd mess it up like they wouldn't get it first try and they'd be like i don't know like i'm like work at it it. like work hard I was like, work do uh, like get better. do more practice and you'll be better. And he's like, no, nah, like just give me an easy one. Yeah, just give me. Some, yeah, I'd rather the, or they would play like I'd give them a, like a big piece of music yeah. and they'd play the easy like parts they could just like do really, real fast. Really fast, yeah. But the parts that were more complicated, you had to work at. They never played them. Yeah, with and the inter- so, intricate like yeah. hand pattern. Or yeah, yeah, yeah. Different yeah. strokes within the mouth. Yeah, yeah, I get that one. And so then like the people that always worked hard, I was always like, hey, come on, like. You guys can do this, and so like give you the same piece, but you actually mm-hmm. tried. You got further than he did. Yeah, you didn't just skip the easy part. Exactly. So I yeah. know you'll be able to work this harder piece at the end. Yeah, and it's it's really nice because uh one one of the guys that that I used to work really hard, like he worked his way up and everything. Mm-hmm. So I got I got this like the band director's award from Mr. Capote when when I graduated, because like you know I started my own musical group. I was yeah. in every ensemble. Like I, that was my that was my life in high school. I played music. Yeah, hell yeah. And so one of my trumpets got it last year when he graduated. And it like it warmed my heart because he was like this is because of you because you believed in me because you told me like I could he told me if, if I worked hard I would get it. And I was yeah. like and that's why like like I've always been like hey if you work hard like you may not be the best but like you always do your best. Exactly. Because like when the when the tough gets going a rookie or somebody that's just like talent mm-hmm. well, you don't know how they're going to react because mm-hmm. like if they've always been good what happens when they're not. They mess up. Yeah, what happens? Good, yeah, they when they're not good. Note, yeah. Or they can't hit the, the intricacies of the note. Or they can't hit the notes in that pattern. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because I, like, I would fuck up, and I would just keep going. Like, it never happened. But there was people in the band, they would fuck up, and it would destroy the entire rest of their performance. See, like, it, it, it's funny, too, because I had a friend who, not, not anything musical-wise, but, like, video game-wise, he's like, oh, like, like I guess I'll start playing League because you play League or whatever. And then he's like, oh, I used to play Dota. Like, I'm... I'm a master at MMOs, whatever. You know, he goes, I tried them so easy, and like I got into it really easy. I first tried Dota. Dota's no problem. We got into a first match, and I'm expecting him to do well because he's boasting all this stuff. Yeah. Literally, like, couldn't farm or couldn't do anything else, and then, like, he was just really bad. And he goes, nah, it's the game, bro. It's the game, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and then, literally, it was my turn because I'm like, all right, fine. I'll go to your level. I'll go to Dota. I went to Dota, and the same thing happened. Yeah. I didn't boast, like, oh, I played League. I can do the same thing. No, like, I went to Dota, and then I was like, wait. That's how that item works. That's how this works. And I was like, what the heck? And I couldn't get wrap my head around it. Kept playing for a little bit longer. And then because of my experience with League and the, the macros I learned, I was able to get somewhat good at Dota. Yeah. But I was just never <clears throat> a really big fan of Dota. Yeah. Like, the Dota's like champions pool and their lore. Oh, yeah. That's why I was that friend. I was just like, hey, man, like you can keep playing Dota, but I'm going to stick with League. I feel better. I feel more comfortable with League. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Even with me, like I'm sure you know, Sal's starting to learn. Yeah, so I was really starting to learn oh, more yeah. about me. Uh, I'm really bad at callouts. <laughs> I'm really bad. Yeah, at call you. Outs. We'll be like, hey, Trevor, what? Ha- we'll be like, Pillow, what happened? He's like, I don't know, man. I, I Look, like tomatoes. Okay, okay. <laughs> I like I, tomatoes. Okay, but I, I, I <laughs> like they'll like, be walking down a river I, and he'll I, see I, them and he won't say anything until they're on top of us. Be like, oh, where they come from? He's like, oh wait, yeah, they're going down river. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I am getting I like better. Tomatoes. I am getting better. However, yeah. like when people get mad at me because someone's not in top lane and they're on the suddenly bottom, yeah. that's not my fault. That's your that is map awareness. <laughs> However, or like the biggest because thing. I always ping when they don't show up for about thirty seconds. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm really bad at calls. Like... However, Omar can vouch for me. I am really, <laughs> really good at making split second playmaking decisions. Yes, yeah. but I am. I've like, seen him play a call. I've call seen him play a call. Oh. <laughs> when I when I was playing Camille support, Omar was there for that. Oh my he, god. He, I blew Omar's fucking mind. 
I can it make. Was so I, stupid like, how it worked too. Yeah, it was so it was, it was insane. Um, but like, I am really, really bad at callouts. Yeah. But as far as like the playmaking decisions go, I can I can do that. Oh, I, I can execute those. really well. Yeah. Even in like FPS, which is uh, I play that a lot more. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I again really bad at callouts. But I, I, I know exactly where and when what, to like position. Where to aim. Where I know to go, exactly like like where to be. Yeah. But, like, again, call, I cannot do call. <laughs> I am definitely he's not in a zone, I am, bro. That's Yeah, he's in his zone. That, that's, not, that is. That is true. Yeah, I'm definitely not a veteran player. But, you know, there's times where, you know, like, I would can still consider myself a rookie at league because I am not good. Like, I, I definitely do not play competitively. Yeah. Um, like, as far as league goes, but, at least. But you're learning. You've played but it. Like, and I you're, learned, yeah. I'm, yeah. like, like, I'm. I am getting better at callouts, but I, you know, I know exactly when when the play needs to happen and where it needs to happen. So, like I was telling Sal, when I first started playing league, I played in Generation Three, like third season. Yeah. And when I first played, I didn't yeah, have a I tower. Remember. I had a I had an itty bitty laptop. It was a Toshiba, and I didn't have a mouse, so I was literally playing yeah, yeah. league. With a trackpad. Oh yeah, I remember. Yeah, so oh, yeah, literally, we, I like remember. I think I was I played a little bit with them too. I think when I was just barely getting my mouse, I my think, trackpad, I or whatever. I think you had a computer. Right. You were just getting a mouse. Exactly. When I started, but I was still playing you. league with the trackpad, and I would and like it was that grind. It was that like I want to get good at this, and I did get good. I got really oh, good at the bro, trackpad. You got like, <laughs> you got pretty fucking good. <laughs> I, got, I got good at it, and I, and then even with like Team Fortress Two. Uh, again, oh, I used to use a trackpad, and then I was crazy because like I loved playing the sniper because the damage and it just scoping, yeah yeah, yeah. And just like boom headshot and boom like, headshot exactly boom and headshot and then with that trackpad, bro, I'd just be playing and then like my friend would go whoosh and then <laughs> whoosh headshot whoosh <laughs> and then and like I didn't think of it as a big deal at the time. I was just like, man, I don't have a mouse, so I guess I'll just learn the trackpad. And then it wasn't until like later people were like. You don't use a mouse, and I'm like, no, dude, I use trackpad. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, like, wait, I, I, I kind of wish Sal was there when I was playing ADC because I remember you yeah. like you would Orion would support me all the time. Uh-huh. When I played ADC, it was whack. <laughs> like, uh, like there was one time where um, I, I I don't I think I was playing with you, and like you you, you even made the meme of like Legends Never Die because I so. um uh I was playing Lucian, and uh-huh. um I know as Lucian that you can dash over a Brom ult. And it just won't affect you. Okay. So I, I was like, I, I, would, I, would, I think I 3v1, right. no, 3v2'd because you died. And yeah. you're like, no, don't go, for, don't go for the bomb. And I was like, no, I got this. <laughs> and I did it. And I come back and he was just like, what the fuck did you just do? <laughs> it was crazy because literally how the bomb works is he kind of like, he does the glacial, I think it's called glacial fissure, I think. I'm not I too, think so. don't, don't quote me on that. But he like lifts up the shield, slams it to the ground. It does the cone around him and then it goes forward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how it works. So the way that uh, Pillow positioned himself to, <laughs> to dash through it was literally as the wave was coming in, the animation was lifting up the, the glaciers. He dashed through it before it went up. That okay. way, like, like it looked like he went through it. Was, it and it, it was pretty nutty. If I did it one. a frame late later, you get stunned by I, it. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I, I would have been slow. Yeah, you get knocked up. Knocked up. Yeah. yeah. If I did a frame later, and yeah. I, 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 I remember Omar saying like, what the fuck did you just do? Because that <laughs> I was, was like, I was again, again, he was like, what? Again, I, was I, like, I, I, exec- <laughs> I did and executed this play perfectly. Because like, because I play Braum and I know all, like I like to, I yeah, you, yeah, I you love Braum, yeah. And like how his abilities work. So I'm always because like I'm like Trevor too. I like making those split decision plays or whatever. <laughs> yeah. Because like you've seen how I play bottom where I'm like, okay, watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. And then I'll just stay quiet for a little bit and then like I'll and all of a sudden like, until they fuck up. And it's <laughs> all like, of a sudden it's all pride scene Eskinor has kids. Oh, yeah. It's like first oh, yeah. blood, like, blood. Double kill. And yeah. I'm like, What's me, up, buddy? me and Omar were the most aggressive bot lane <laughs> ever. That was we, we gave no fucks. Wait. Why do I you play, play it all? I play aggressive when I'm with you. Yeah, but that's but, because well, I tell you to play aggressive because when we first started out, you were like, oh, back well, here well, well no because well, yeah, like you were learning yeah, still yeah you're, you're learning it's um in league at least it is very hard to play aggressively Car- I, i'm not not to be mean on carlos i know he's gonna listen to this <laughs> carlos sometimes struggles with playing aggressively he does. i know because i see it and he he's does like, oh that was this this shouldn't happen i'm like you shouldn't have made that play buddy or something i don't um, know what you mean yeah like, i know what you mean because like, like the only reason i play really aggressive with trevor is because he has the same at least the same basic knowledge yes. of the game, and that way when we went in, we hard, know he like got, exactly he, he still got, he still got all the go farm, in. and he denied them farm while I still pushed them ahead. Yes, the reason I don't go as aggressive with you is because we go because I go lose hard, farm, then you lose farm, and then the trade's not worth it because you don't get the gold benefits from it. you don't yeah. reap the benefits from it. 
But the but thing like, is, though, like, I've realized as I've played more and more, mm-hmm. I am really bad yeah. at farming. <laughs> I, no, like, yeah. that's just no, a like, thing. No, I'm, that's I'm, the I'm, that's, I'm not, I'm not that's making money. I'm saying, like, thing. yes, you are. Like, you, no, like, I, you, it's something you gotta work on, but you are, like, no, you, you're I, good. I, just, yeah, no, I'm very, know. like, even the games we win, I'm always behind on farm. Like, always. Yeah, he's yeah, always, yeah. like, 50 or oh, 100 oh, short I know. I'm, of I'm getting the S, too. Because he'll get, like, an A plus or an A minus. Because I have really good map movement. I gank. As a bot laner, Dude, you're I, fucking, my you're, ash arrows your speed where you're grasping map movement. I'm like, Sal, we should move back. And I look at my, I look at the map and he's already behind me. And I'm like, wait, <laughs> hold up. I, that's wait, I taught him. Hold I, was like, up. I taught Sal. I was like, okay, Sal, look, if you see the mid laner gone for more than like two seconds, fucking leave. Leave. Because yeah. that means he's coming down. Yeah. 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 Like, especially yeah. No, anytime, if, an if I have an E, like, because yeah. I play Ash. Yeah. If I have an E, the moment I walk past River, I shoot it all the way up across the entire map because I want to yeah. see where their mid laner and where their jungler is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To know if I can push tower, if I can pressure, or I have to come back. Yeah, like, yeah. I always want to. That's how yeah. Oh, I just saw, because, like, while he's farming, I'll, like, I'll poke or whatever, try to keep him off, but I'll also be watching the map hard. That way I'll see the mid laner. If it's, like, a mage. Because I have to focus really hard to farm, like and fighter, he knows that. I'm like, okay, we're cool. Yeah, but if it's, yeah. like, an assassin, like, Fizz, uh, Zed, Akali. Akali, anybody with, like, assassin type that can just blow him up. Yeah, yeah. I'll I'll keep watch on that, and then I'll just tell Sal, okay, we can push up, maybe get one plate or two plate, and then we back up. Yeah. But then, at the, in any case, I always tell him like, okay, I saw jungler top mid died, we can push hella hard. Yeah. And then yeah. we'll usually get like two um, two plates. And like uh like you know me and Omar have that same kind of pistol where we're aggressive, but we <laughs> know when we can go in. Exactly. We know exactly like okay, watch this. So yeah. we like like me and Omar say it all the fucking time. Hey, watch this. Watch <laughs> he this. does. He, I he do. says I it. Well, like he'll be like, watch uh, this, and again, I'll go again. silent, and I'm just farming, and I'm just like, uh, again, me and waiting Omar for it. Exactly when we okay, can go in. Okay, because like recently, I've been p- I picked up Swain in the bottom. Bro, with Swain oh, Ash bot. Swain oh, Ash bot. Oh my god. And so and so like you know how Swain has the 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 Nevermore where he pulls people. Yeah. And like people always underestimate it because they don't realize like it pulls you into me plus IQ, and then yeah, I hear yeah. the W right in front of you, so they have to run through it or like walk back to me. And people under- the da- underestimate the damage, so I'll, I'll tell Sal he stayed. Watch this, and then I'll just I'll just like focus hella hard. Wait till he missteps forward to get the farm, because uh, is that they do? Is that they want to get farm. Yeah. So I'll throw out the E, pull him, Q, oh, yeah. electrocute, dead. Just boom, then, dead. <laughs> oh yeah, no. First blood, or it's like um, has slain an enemy. And yeah. I'm like, oh. It's really weird. I wish it's something I could teach you, like yeah. how and when to be aggressive. It's just like it's just it's learning with with learning. It's, yeah. It's yeah. not even the champion. It's just. I, I I've I've tried. I don't I just I don't think it's something that I that you can teach. It's you know, just something it's you practice. learn. Yeah. The it's more you, like you guys said, the more you like, play. Like you've seen me. I've played five matches of a Kali. Yeah. yeah. You popped off though. Yeah, you Those popped off. Those last two matches, like like th- that that wasn't even like my knowledge of like how the champion works. That was just Oh, I know I can do that. I know <laughs> right. this is gonna happen. Right, whether it be like tower stuff, cool their yeah. cooldowns because yeah, you yeah, know yeah. their stuff, or like how the minion weight yeah. pushes. Because we do I need just, to start learning too, or like kind of getting like sort of it is like freezing waves and also like pushing the wave hard or like yeah. kind of the that is something I can waves. teach. And like learning, I know the tower aggro um, because if you notice yeah. when I try to poke on the tower, I always wait till the tower is about to shoot, then I try to poke. Because then when I do that, the target tower will go ping to me. But since because it's charging up his next shot, I walk out of range and it cancels. So and you wait for it to reset. shoot its min- a shot at the minion. So I like, it's like what is it? Like every two seconds it shoots one, one no, second. Uh, one. I think it's like one and a half. One and a half. Like every one and a half seconds, it'll shoot. It'll go boom and then boom. Every one. So and you want to attack as, as soon, it shoots. As soon as it shoots it out. No, no. Either so you'll right you'll, 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 you'll kind of see like I, I I can show you this if you want. But like you'll kind of you know how it draws a line, you can yeah. see exactly where it's yeah. gonna shoot. Once it draws a line, um, it can that that bullet can change directions yeah. if you attack. That's what I'm saying. You gotta so be careful. The second you see that tower do damage, you can attack. Or like or like you see the or like as soon as it shoots and it lands, then you go in. Or as soon as like the tower is about to take a hit, it's gonna hit the minion. But then you hit and then it pulls up yeah. and like do my combo whatever and then it's gonna target me and then I walk out and then it has to reset. Then it actually yeah. actually loses a tower shot because of yep. you. yeah because of you yeah because it has to re because it misses it can't shoot you so it has to go back to yeah a it has to go back to minion so it has to go boom back and to then it. that combined with wave control which again I can teach you I know how to do that very well yeah the wave Omar knows how to do it really well too um it's that combined with minion control it's just you can be super aggressive as you want because you know you know how to exactly. outplay the enemy before they even know what they're doing because I don't know if you see but when when you leave and go I have to back and then. 
I'll be in the minion wave. It'll be pushing towards me. What I'll do is I'll walk to the side and have the minions corral to me on the left or the right side. That way they don't hit the tower because if it crashes the tower, then we lose you don't some get damage farm. on it. I lose the farm on it because you're not there. And I always keep the wave in my control. I mm. never let it crash the tower because if you let it crash the tower, then the ta- tower does a lot of damage to it. You and you lose, lose farm. damage and you lose farm. And Yeah. That and, and that's why you see like whenever I'm playing Cy on top, exactly. I, nev- I never lose. Actually, when I play top, I almost never knew, lose my lane because, I, because I'm pushing the minions while they're attacking me. Yeah, because yeah, I yeah. I know how to manipulate them into thinking they're winning, <laughs> yeah. and then I have their tower. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that that's that's the one thing. Like I I feel like I am a big playmaker. Like that's but that's my style. Oh, yeah, that's always sure. in my style. Yeah. So like I'll I'll make those big plays. Some of the marrows though, I'll give you that. Some of the marrows are pretty good. Oh, you're getting, you're getting better dude, than marrows. His long range snipes are <laughs> no, yeah, that's bro. What I'm saying. Like, that bro, like, but I, like I the things are like. That's how you can't teach, though. Like I know you can't. Like that's you, just you like I, I look own. at the match and I, I like I'll, I'll like, I'll, cause I'll be over here and I'll be like, okay, I'm farming, like whatever. I'm trying to keep my farm, but I'll see, I'll see the engage starting to form, and I'm like, okay, if they go, like I'll start like fucking crunching the numbers, yeah, bro. all like, the numbers are flying past me, bro. And I'm like, okay, if I shoot the arrow here and I shoot it, oh, where I sniped it, yeah. And I was like, Omar, I'm going in. The arrow hit. I was like. Wait, there was an ash arrow? <laughs> yeah. I'm going in. <laughs> you know, yeah. Take into consideration that one time we played where I was playing here Jinx, and then I shot that old kind of like almost blind, but I knew where it was going yeah. from you. It looked blind. Yeah. And then you were like, how'd you do that? And I was like, well, like. I yeah, because he, like, like, he was cons- playing Arab. He was like, they're going to take. He's like, well, I knew they were. It was a they, Vigor, and they had, oh, we, had, yeah. we had just finished the fight, and they were really low. I just responded, mm-hmm. and I had ult, and I'm Jinx. Oh, yeah. So I see at the bottom left that, or the bottom right, there's a their two relics are open. They're up. So obviously, <laughs> oh, if I'm yeah. low, I'm gonna go there. Go to a relic, yeah. So then I'm I'm thinking I'm like okay. By the time I get there, da, 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 and I'm like okay. So if by the time I respond and shoot my ult, they'll be at the second they'll be relic. At the second one. So I shoot it. <laughs> as it's coming down. It goes and gets more damage. Kills him. Oh, yeah. Vigor like flames me and goes. How did you do that? You lovable oh. son of a gun. Or something <laughs> yeah. like that. So if I have it, I'll send it to you. I have a clip with like. It was still when I was still learning how to play Sion and learning how to play the game. Um, I got a, I got like a cross map ult as Sion where I spawned. I think I was playing with Chris Nash. Yeah, the Nash. And was he was right. like, he was like, "Yo, he's in this bush," and I was like, "Oh, I got him." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that that was probably like my first big play, and I'm like, I know what I need to do with this champion. <laughs> yeah, like, no, and, and that's the thing. Like, I love like that's. I think like everyone's all like, "Oh, Ash is an easy champion." This you, and that. You gotta play Lucian. I'm telling you. Yeah. You gotta play Lucian. I feel like you, I feel like you could pick him up because if you, Lucian, if you play Lucian, we can be way more. Lucian yeah. is the playmaker. That's yeah. Like literally, what he does. Because he's got the dashes. You're, you're not just the dashes the, though. His autos reset the dash too. Not just not, but not just it. his dashes. He's got he's got some mechanics to him, but just enough. He's still he's still an AD carry. You can yeah, still yeah. play him. He's with, really flashy. I'll give you that. Yeah, you, you he is flashy. Play, you can still play Lucian um, just like an AD carry. And that's usually what I do when I'm playing with Omar. I'm like, oh, I don't know how to use my abilities. I'll <laughs> never use them. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, I delete them. Because again, <laughs> yeah. uh, again, you, again, you can do that. Yeah. You can just be like, oh, I don't know how to use my abilities. But Lucian is so flashy and does that much damage where you can just all of a sudden use all of your abilities and they're dead. Yeah, because, because he's he's a flat. He's I know. a really flashy. AD All too well. <laughs> part part of his passive is that every time he play he shoots an ability, he'll get two free auto attacks, and they'll be in quick concession. So yeah. he'll he'll Q, which is the B, the B line thing. Then he'll auto a minion twice. Do do really quickly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I've seen you, it. So what you could do is like Q, like passive, and then dash. Normally, passive, you want to like W passive. Yeah. And then so like, you just get a lot of shot, you you rapid bunch, fire. Um, um, rap, you, basically, in a full combo, you can get like two, like three triggers of your passive, which is like no, you can six, get six, four, six damage. You can get four. You can get you potentially because, eight damage. Um, extra. Yeah, eight, eight you, you can get four shots because you, your um, as Lucian is a champion, he's not only a flashy champion where you can like do a bunch of stuff and do look really cool. You can also face roll and just roll your hand across the keyboard, <laughs> and it 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 will work. Yeah. Like I'm not like I'm not kidding. Like that's one that's one of the combos is just press every single button. <laughs> Piano it, just go all the way down. Yeah, no. So like uh, that's the thing. Like when I when I shoot an ash arrow and it, and it goes like halfway across the map and 
And I love when I'm playing with Omar because, like, <laughs> I'll shoot an ash arrow Omar, and, and it'll hit the person he's chasing or something. Oh like, I'll predict it and I'll be like, he was like, whoa, that's my boy. That's right. That's right. It's good. And then I'll, like, because I'll hit the ash arrow, and then two seconds later, it'll pop up and it'll be like, Pride Tin Eskinor has killed so and so. Because I don't expect him to land it, because I'm like, dude, if they get a little bit closer, I can kill them. But they stay just out of my range. And then the ash arrow comes out of nowhere. And I'm just like, let's get it. And I just like, boom. The other region you should play Lucian is because you will unlock Omar's godly Brahm skills. That's the thing. Because yeah, I need. Yeah, because because he he's the best works, pair with Brom. Yeah, yeah. Because of the four shots. Yeah, be, be, because because he can auto attack three times. Because I could literally like if I throw a Q auto, all you need to do is Q is is, is just one passive auto, stun. Yeah. You it, it, all I have to do is click you, on the champion, use an ability, and then and then he's right, not only stunned, he's not only stunned, but you have pressed the attack now. Yeah. Oh, that's true. Yeah. yeah. So um, literally. It's just if he, if, Lu, if he ever comes in in uh, champion rotation, just pick him up for a couple games and then I'll, 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 I'll show you. I will buy you, bro. Lucian, if you really. No, need I it. Like, I have. It's like ridiculous. You're waiting for the blue essence emporium. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna spend all those, uh, and okay. then if I don't get it, Lucian then I'll buy Lucian. Like, yeah. like because Omar's Brom is just. Like, yeah, I know. I've seen his Brom, but I can't Brom. like because I've I've played him with Ash, yeah, but it, it, it Ash doesn't really Ash, work. Ash works pretty well with him only because of the slow. Yeah, but it's just. The big thing with Braum is that you have to try to proc his passive as fast as you can on, ma- on as many people because literally his passive stuns him for like a for second hour. and a half or like two that's seconds. A, that's, that's, a, that's an and eternity. That's a lot. Yes. That's an eternity. Yes. yes. Because literally I'll slow them, stun, we'll proc it. Then the timer will start to slow down of when I can stun them again. And then by the time it's back up, we can do a full combo and then again, like yeah. ult him and then we can kill him. Yeah. And with Lucian, you, you can like, – again – you can do two full combos on that while they're still they're gonna be stunned the whole time watching. Exactly. Yeah, just like me when I get stunned, I'm like frantically yeah. right? trying to push splash. Trying to push splash. Come, come on, come on. Yeah, because <laughs> like, I, cause you, have you played against uh, a Brom or no? Yeah, I played against yeah, Brom. So I think I think I, I me and him played together I, against. Brom. I think we played against Brom. Yeah, yeah. Um, all right, let's move on to past week in history. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. So okay, so I got one for past week in history. So on November seventh, uh, uh, fourteen ninety two. Uh, Oh no. <laughs> and Sisheim, <Oof>. meteorite, <laughs> strikes a wheat field near the village of Ansisheim and Alsace, France, Aliens. oldest meteorite with known date of impact. Aliens. So, Aliens. how do you guys feel? Because like, I feel like That's every cool. week there's Aliens. a new scientist being Aliens. like, this meteorite's going to come. Aliens. It's going to kill us all. Aliens, Aliens yeah. Aliens. And so, like, like, do you worry about that stuff? Like, no. No? Really. No, never. Only because if a meteor Only were for the memes. well, yeah, but yeah, also it. if a meteor were ever to come hit us, we would probably not see it in time or until like it well, actually collides. But what's what's the but, um? I don't I don't remember what the uh, we got a like like what like what the, the percentage the, is. <laughs> damn. Uh, <laughs> well, because I, I can't think of the percentage, but I, isn't it like eighty percent of meteorites that are going to hit Earth like? Uh, burn up burn up in the atmosphere yeah, I yeah. no but i'm just saying like because all the time like they'll be like all of a sudden it'll be on the news be like there's a meteorite hurtling towards earth it could potentially well, kill well, all well, of us well, like that's why i don't worry about it because i'm like yeah it's just gonna burn i'm like i'm like if it I'm hits like, us cool i'll die i mean what yeah but <laughs> right here i will send you gps but, coordinates meteor <laughs> but i mean in most cases it'll either evaporate by the time it gets here or like the really fast ones that are coming we won't even be able to see them because or, or they just straight up miss earth yeah, or like they'll, they'll like literally <laughs> they just like straight go, up go yeah. like nah, I'm, like, like nah, I'm yeah. good. Well, because like they'll be like, every, I feel like every time like like I feel like a couple years ago they're like, oh, it's forty percent chance, and you're like, eh. No, and now they're like ninety percent chance, and I'm like, <laughs> no, because in the news, because in the news is like, oh, the meter could have hit us if it went a mile closer to Earth. And I'm like, dude, shut up. If it hits us, it hits us. Bro, right, that's a mile. That's a long way. Like, but like a mile falling, in space. Yeah, like for falling, that's a long way. Yeah. But now, I mean, like, I'm like, whatever about it. If it happens, it happens. I mean, like, it is what it is. I'm just going to be assing home in Fruit Loops with Dr. Dre. And it's going to go. And I'm just like, hey, man, it is what it is. You're just going to be, like, seeing the freaking fire coming over the horizon. Just throwing your Fruit Loops in your mouth. You're just like, it is what it is. Because, I mean, didn't they say the same thing with the whole, like, Aztec calendar thing ending? Yeah, no, that stuff never worried me. Because, like, 
we were like, oh, the Mayan calendar, like whatever. Oh, but like, it's over. Punk yeah. they ran out of fucking space. <laughs> You're yeah, like, look, if you had we didn't think we'd make it this yeah, far. Yeah, we didn't think we had to write on rocks too. You'd probably run out of paper eventually. Like, all right, flip it over. Flip it over. Wait. It's like we have no more rock. What do we do? Well, I guess we die. We have to build houses. Yeah, that's right. How are we We ran out of rocks. I what guess do we, we do? Die. He goes, he goes, I just put the end, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> like, we ran out of rocks. What do we do, Chief? I guess we well, die. Well, <laughs> like, using that same logic, we're going to die on January 1st because it's not on the calendar. <laughs> You're right. You're right. Again. Predicted. I got to go buy another one. Quote it. Predict it. Predict yeah, it. Again, we're going to die on January 1st. Predict there's, it. there's no calendar. Yeah. Predict it's it. not on the calendar. Predict it. I don't know. Because, like, that's stuff, like, uh, for, like, for a while, I was like, like I'd be like tracking it on NASA, like oh my god, how close is the meteor? And then it's like missed us by five hundred miles, and I was like, oh, <laughs> the motherfucker was wrong. Like he was so Ooh. wrong. He said eighty five percent. That wasn't even close. Eighty five percent. So like now, like because you hear it all the time, and I feel like right. maybe it has to do with the times where it's like maybe before we just weren't like we were ignorant to it. So like we it yeah. probably happened all the time. We just didn't know. Honestly. And now we see it all the time. So like, we because like back in the day, honestly, we probably didn't even I'd rather see hear that news than like whatever bullshit they're putting out now. Because it's like that sounds way more interesting. Like, <laughs> yes. right. Send can me to I, Mars. Can we bring those but, back. Send me to Mars. <laughs> Speaking of old news, though, what's something you guys use like to this day, but like it's old still? Did you get paid for that, bro? Sunday? Bro, whoa! Jeez, I might have oh to my Venmo my Omar some money for that smooth oh, segue. Hey, All right. You bought him in now, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> I, had, I had to get that job somehow. <clears throat> hey, the interview is uh, still going. <laughs> the interview is still going. <laughs> uh, so, something you use every day, but that's old now. Yeah. Uh, let me think. What's let up? me think. Trevor? Let me think. Trevor, you something like old that you use that like you could upgrade it, but like you could, but you want to keep it. Because you're just like, yeah, this just works. Why would I fix it? Why would I well, change like, it? My computer definitely, but like I can't say that like I can replace it because I definitely can't. That <laughs> shit costs way too much money. Um, probably like pencils. I don't know why. Like I don't keep notes on my phone. I can't. Like mm-hmm. I, okay. I don't do it. Okay. I like ha- nobody can read my handwriting. I can't even Same. read it. But I have to write shit. Now. Yeah, I, I okay. write in ancient hieroglyphics. Just like yeah. A major. It's called like, dyslexia. <laughs> I, I have maybe like I have a stash of like a hundred pencils. Because like I'm just like oh I got I gotta buy pencils because you know I'm gonna write I know I'm gonna write stuff down eventually, okay. um like like if I'm taking notes like I have to write it down with a pencil. I'm really bad with like, I'll take a pencil and I'll use it one time, and that's it. That's it, yeah. And I'll grab a new one. Yeah. Bro, the pain. I, I know, I know, it's so bad because my sister's the same way. She'll be like using a pencil, and she likes to use wooden ones. So use that. She'll use that sucker not, till, it till it nubs. Till it nubs. It's just like. I'm like, just grab a new one. She's like, no, it still I'm works. Good. I'm good. I got lead in it. Yeah. I'm, I'm not that crazy. I at least use, like, mechanical pencils. But when it's out of lead, I don't fill it up. I just toss it. Yeah, so, bro, I, bro, I hated it in high, in high school, bro. There was people like, yeah, I got, like, 14 packs of lead. And I was like, I have 14 pencils. I have, what's up? Like, like, <laughs> like when I'm done, pencils, no, I throw that one away, it's cool and I get a new one. It's cool because, like, every now and then you would see a pencil left on the desk or floor, and it would be mechanical. And then you have your favorite mechanical oh, pencil, every right? Time. Ooh, you, pencil. you see a pencil, <laughs> and then you, like, you shake and go, oh, hell yeah. Oh, hey, oh, pull it out, though. Yeah. You take close it, it and throw it in your favorite one, and you just say, I'm sorry, little one. <laughs> you, throw <it> away. <laughs> you throw that sucker away, dude. Just slow motion. You throw dude, it the, in the, the, trash. the best ones, though, that you know were like big pog or like big dick energy were like those like neon green or pink ones. You know, the one that had a side yes. push here? Yeah, side oh, push on the, the side. Push, you, and you yeah. would roll you would roll the eraser up. If you had that, bro, you was rolling oh. fucking money, dude. Rolling bro, because those came in packs of two. Exactly. Yeah. You, you rolled in pussy in those, bro. Bro, because I would because buy cost, a pack of 20. It cost like $9. It cost $9. Yeah. I, I would never buy those. I think I only had one. And I, I found that one on the floor. Exactly. I was that's like, it. I found, that's I found, the found that one. Yeah. I found that one, dude. Yeah, I always had like the big cheapy ones. Oh. Like, hey, look at our look at our waves. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't I wait! I can't wait till I have my big flat screen there, and then we can have like the waves. We can have like other stuff on the screen. Yeah, we can have true. the waves. We can have like the news. Yeah, 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 the yeah. Topics right there. Yeah. Oh, we can have. Mm. Shit, we can have the topics right there. That's true. We could. That's very true. Oh my it's god. Nice. Hey, you're welcome. Yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm waiting for my check now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta write that real quick. Uh, 
Yeah. No, but yeah, uh, one thing for me. Okay, so yeah. like I don't have it right now because my grandmother's fixing it. But like, okay, so when I was younger, my grandmother lived with us. Yeah. We didn't have enough rooms in the house, so I slept with my grandmother. She had this like quilt mm-hmm. blanket that's really nice, right? Oh, there you go. And so like we used to do it all the time. When she moved out and moved it back in with my grandfather, she mm-hmm. was like, "Here, me hold this is for you," and I oh, was like. Fuck. But like, that motherfucker, that motherfucker seen some shit, dude. Like, it's got more patches on it. <laughs> like, oh, basically, almost, things. basically, almost the entirety of the top has been replaced at this point, just because it's so old of a right. blanket. And so, like, that's why she has it, cause like, it needs more patches. <laughs> but like, I can't let it go. Like, it's just like, I, no. like, you could not, get a better blanket, or you could get a yeah. better whatever. But I mean. But, but it just it does it like, it does the job but, so well though. No, guys. but that's like that's a different story. No, but that's still no. Mental though. But even like, then though, but like it's like, yeah, I feel like it's the perfect blanket, balance. Like I can use it in cold like or in airflow, hot. Of like airflow, airflow and, then, and heat. heat. Yeah, I get what you're saying though. Because like I have yeah. other blankets that come close, but I'm like this one does it just so yeah. well. But that's also like so you know, good. Like sentimental value. Yeah, like, yeah, it does. I, I yeah. can see the sentimental part, but like I don't know. Like, but like if it was a sentimental blanket. But it sucked. Like I would have it on my bed, and it would yeah. just sit there. But like I use, like I use that sucker because I'm like, if I'm cold, it keeps me warm. If I'm hot, it keeps me fresh. Exactly. Like, like how does it do it? I don't know. Must be magic. Brujerias, maybe. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Guy over here doing witchcraft on it and stuff. So, ooh, 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 yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah. no wonder why it keeps you so warm. Exactly. It's all the little demons. Little demons <laughs> keep me warm. Uh, for for me though, something that I at least have or like don't want it to change over time is just it's kind of I love hard that i have I, for you no, <laughs> no I, I know it's kind of hard for me because like i've never really like had anything for a long time that i, that I use or whatever but if i had to choose something though it would be like like donuts like old school made like fresh donuts oh okay i was all donuts was like, like in a car wait, hold up like are you okay? no no i mean like like, like donuts. are you hungry like, again like, like bakery donuts because okay. no because i mean like nowadays yo i'm not even saying that I'm kinda they're, they're, they're like donuts. they're like mass produced or like people yeah like a cool spin on it and go oh i put a fucking gold leaf on it i'm like why just make a good why? regular donut just make a just make like an old like old-fashioned or one good or, donut fucking long donut donut donut. Right. yeah exactly That's yeah if you have one like amazing donut you don't need it like Jack. Like if it's like if they're like okay donuts only like two or three, yeah. but if it's like one amazing donut, I'm like that was it. I just needed like, the one. I, just need I the only one, need bro. one. It's yeah, I because like, like now, because like I'm saying nowadays people are like messing it up by throwing their own spin on it, and like, and I think for a while it was a thing. I don't know if it still is a thing, but it's called like goth food, where like people it's literally painted, put like painted black. They dyed, painted they, they black. Put, like, yeah. They dyed it like they had like black ice cream, black burgers, like black everything, and then like oh pretty patties. Yeah, <laughs> dude, yeah, honestly, pretty, pretty and I was patty. like. Why ruin it though? Like, I guess I guess if I had to pick a subject, then in general, it would just be like food in general. Like, make school, make food like how it was like back in the olden days. Like, like yeah. fucking fresh and like you knew everything was going in. It was okay, bro. Nothing, you need no, to no hang special out. or something. You need to hang out with my family, dude. Look, we carved that pig. We eat every part exactly. of that pig, bro. Right? So do we, bro. Don't even, bro. So do we. We actually grow the pig and we kill the pig ourselves. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh yeah. Yeah, I get you. yeah bro. It's, it's, uh, I don't know, like, I, I get that too, cause, like, bro, I miss going and, like, cause when I, when we were younger, yeah. it was like, you're gonna go and you're gonna get, like, we wouldn't get a dozen, dozen. We would get one donut per person. So if there was yeah. five of us, it was five donuts. So you got one. So you were always like, they're like, which one do you want? Yeah, and you no, were like, I want a glaze, but I want that yeah, glaze. Like, I want that exact one, cause that yeah. one, cause I only get one. You look like that one might hit different. Yeah, exactly. They yeah. give it to you, and it hits different. You're like, all right, I mean, damn, I'm, yeah, I'm yeah. just good. Like, yeah. Okay. So now, now that I've thought about it more, I, I will say this. It's going to be like my fucking huaraches, bro. Bro, honestly, I thought you were going to say that. I like Okay, now thinking about because like I just keep them on like all day. Like I don't really think about it that much. But these things, like, these puppies are old. Like they're like these things are made old. Like they did these back in the day, like way like in Mexico time. Yeah. And like I never thought about getting like – some Gucci slides or like some fucking Nike slides or nothing or like slippers. slippers. No, dude, yeah. I can't do that. <laughs> it has to be my, my waraches. Oh, that's cool. Because that like it's just something that I, I would never part with or whatever or like never want to switch out of because oh, yeah. literally these things were like these things go were literally like uh, going on me for like high school during like senior year. I like 
it, I still wore shoes like my Nikes or whatever, but like they'd be like old Nikes. Yeah. And then one day I was just kind of like, "Mom, can I wear my Wachi to school?" And she's like, "I guess as long as you don't get dress coded." And I was like, <laughs> "Book it." I slapped those bad boys on. Yeah. And I walked to school and everyone was like, "Damn!" And I was like, like "What are those?" Yo. Bro, you wore those like every day after that. Exactly. I know. Dude. And like, I was you there. Can, people can vouch. I wear these puppers like every day, bro. all the time. And I'll wear every them. time I see you, you're wearing them. I'll wear them no matter what, dude. Like they'll they'll also be like worn out or like kind of died out or whatever. I'll still wear them, some bitches. As long as I can keep putting them on and walk with them, I'll, I'll wear them, bro. Yeah. Hey, as long I'll as they fit. As long as they fit. Exactly. What were you gonna say, Trevor? Um, I you just you both of you guys talking about stuff made me remember. Mm. I have my uh my old grandpa's hat. That okay. I, I wear all the time because I'm like. Um, uh, my, my grandma was like, he just bought a new one. Like, he doesn't need this one. Do you want it? And I yeah. was like, yeah, sure. Why not? I put on like, this is comfortable. Like, <laughs> bro, good what? hat, bro. It's, hey, it's, you... it's one of those like old, like newsboy caps. Like, yeah. you know, yeah, the yeah, ones yeah, that like, yeah. they have the visor, yeah. but like oh, the shit. top of the hat, like, like, yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's kind of dope. That's comfortable, that is clean. man. That's like, dope. like that hat will never be in style again, but I'm still going to wear it because that is comfortable on my head. It's not a fedora. It's not a fedora. I, I don't know what it's called. I, just know, I, know, I like know exactly that, what you're talking about. It's like the, like the Peaky Blinders, eh? The Peaky Blinders? No? Okay, never mind. <laughs> I, and I, I wear that all the time. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that, that you guys are thinking. No, I see it's crazy, too, because now they said hats. Literally, I didn't. I just started wearing hats literally start of, like, when I started college. Only because I never wore hats because we weren't allowed in high school. Yeah. And, like, I never got into them. Yeah. So I'd always let my hair like either slip back or I'd have like my emo bangs and like I'd be whatever about it. It wasn't until like I started going to college where I'd wake up and I'd have like a morning class and I'm like, fuck, I didn't have time to shower or like I slept in because I didn't want to. Yeah. And I'm just like, what do I do? And then like my dad has his whole hat rag there where he has like his work hat, the yard hat. The yard, He the, has a hat for every occasion. For a hat for every occasion. Yeah. And then I saw like I saw the black one and I was just like, it's like screw it. I just wear a hat. Like it's college. Who cares? I put the hat on. And from like that moment on, I was like, that's, "That's for life." That bro. is like, like that's how you know men grow up. Like you're like, <laughs> yeah, you know, he's honestly, hat. he's wearing a hat. Like, that guy, like as an like, adult. Yeah, I shower every me, day, but you know what? You see my hat, and then this is Naruto. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what it is. You know, yeah. like okay, I know I can trust that man right there. Yeah, because he's wearing a hat. Like he's wearing a hat. You know. That's it. It doesn't matter if he's got a beard. It doesn't matter if he's got a mustache. It doesn't matter if he's got a clean shave. You know, if what? that man has a hat, I can trust that man yeah. right there. Yeah. No, and like, that's the thing. Like, I think it's because I, I, I always hated hats. Yeah. But like, I always then, also school, always hated my hair. Them. Exactly. Yeah. Like, I was never like a hat guy. Like, I never wore them. All my cousins would be like, ah, oh, hats, this and that, whatever. Yeah. Like, like, but I also hated my hair. So I always had it like really short buzz cut. Mm -hmm. And then in college, like you said, I had morning classes. Just like I lived hours. on campus, so I was like, I might as well take morning classes because I'm 10 mm -hmm. minutes from my lecture. Exactly. Like, I can get up, get ready, oh, five yeah. minutes, be there in five minutes. Put, so, put my what I just done. Yeah. So, I, I bought, like, the first day I was there, I bought a UC Davis hat. Yeah. And it was, like, a beige, light beige hat. And I wore that motherfucker every day. Mm. The inside is all stained or whatever. I've washed hey. it. That stain doesn't go away. It doesn't matter. Wear every day. And then, like... Uh, I think in my third year, because after that I started like started buying hats because like yeah. I love hats. So I would like swap out. I have this hat that's got a little smiley face on it. I would I was like okay on on uh on Fridays we wear red, and so I'd wear the red hat yeah. with the smiley face, and I was like hey it's Fridays we gotta be happy, so I'd wear that hat. So I'd have different hats for different occasions. Exactly. And so like but uh, old reliable was always that one. And so then like just this past year. Like, when I moved back and everything, my mm -hmm. sister found my hat. And she was like, I like that hat. She was like, can I have it? And I was like, fuck, dude. Maybe. I was like, like, I like you, but, like, perhaps. I don't know. I don't know about that much. <laughs> so I gave it to her. And now yeah. she wears it all the time. She Maybe. said, it's really comfy. I like it. She's yeah, like, again, that's how you know. Somebody like, grows up. They have a hat on. That no, person, like, like, son that's of a it. gun, dude. Like, I was like, that makes me happy because, like, now she likes wearing it all the time. And she mm -hmm. likes it and everything. So I was like, bro, I was like, hey, you have it. Like, right. I gave it to her. And so, like, whatever. So, like, I still wear hats all the time. But it's, yeah, so it's it, they're comfy. Like, I like buying new hats, but there's certain hats where I'm like, no, nah, nah. old ones, man. Put this bad boy on, turn yeah, it backwards. Yeah, you like, turn it in, you're like, shh. Maybe. And I fucking throw Pikachu. Hey. Uh, wait, wrong one. <laughs> wait, wait, wrong, wait. <laughs> wrong dream. <laughs> all right, so speaking of things that we hold close, what's the things that have been stolen from you or one thing that you really didn't care about or it was just like whatever? 
He is too good at this, Dude, right? That's two. That's two. Monday. That's two for two in two a row. For well done, fire. Two in a row. Fire oh. that man. I, I <laughs> am, man. Um, Shoot, producer over here. Uh, I don't know, bro. If I told you guys, like when I like when I moved, like I had like shitty, really shitty roommates. Yeah. yeah. Um, one of them stole tape from us. <laughs> Like I I, I I I don't even remember what I needed. I don't even oh, remember shit. what I needed the tape for. I was like, at one point I asked Catherine like, "Hey, do we got, do we yeah, got you tape? see the tape?" And, and the roommate like, talked. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, well, no, at one point I uh, they they had already moved out by this time. I was like, "Hey," uh, I, I was like, "I was like, hey, do you know where the tape is?" And I'm there. Like, she's like, "Yeah, whatever, whatever." Yeah. So I go and I'm like, "There's no tape," and she's like, "What do you mean there's no tape?" And I'm like, "It's." You ain't got no tape. There's got no, no tape. tape. Call the police. <laughs> and I was like, I was like, I, I don't, I don't know tape. And she's like, Did they take our tape? I'm like, I don't know. All I know is there's no tape. We got no tape. We got no tape. <laughs> what? <laughs> really? <laughs> tape? Yeah. That's because they needed to fucking pack up their boxes and try to get no, the no, fuck no, no, out no. of there. No, it, it wasn't. It was, it was, it was tape. like scotch tape. Uh, right? It was scotch. Wasn't packing tape. It was, it was scotch like tape, right? Scotch. Yeah, I know. And it was fucking scotch tape because like, that's the only one yeah. you have on your desk, whatever. But right. again, like packing tape. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay like, I can understand. Maybe. Packing tape is pretty useful. You even know, you duct can use tape. that for a lot of things. Yeah. yeah. If it was duct tape, tape, I'd be like, hey, yo, But they didn't take the duct tape. They didn't take the. They only took the scotch tape. They were like, she was like, I really like arts and crafts, so I need this. It just left. No, I fucking hate that Trevor guy. I'm taking this fucking tape. <laughs> now they like, walked in. They, they walked into Trevor's room. And we're like, "Fuck this dude. We're gonna leave." And they're like, "What? What do we take?" She was like, "Fucking grab the tape." And he's like, "All right." And he grabbed the go. tape. And they're like, "What about his wallet?" They're like, "What about his wallet?" He's like, "Nah, nah, nah. Just, uh, just, I have, just I have tape. Money. I have the tape. I have money. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> if I take his tape, he won't have it. That'll hurt him. <laughs> How about you? <laughs> um, honestly, I try not to get things stolen from me because, like. <laughs> You don't got a lot to begin I with. I don't got a lot to begin <laughs> with, honestly. I so they take it. From. But I mean. <laughs> yeah, don't go his ass. So like, <laughs> I think it was like third or fourth semester college or whatever, maybe maybe second. You know, it's those morning classes again. And I forget to lock my car. And it, and it has happened before. Because the way I, the way I, the way I know is because I have my shit positioned in my car. A in certain my, way. A certain yeah. way. It's my feng shui. Even my rear view mirror, like. If anybody moves that shit, I'm a you fucking know, know. You look and you're like, I can't oh, yeah. see. I'm a fucking no. Yeah. So like, so I was go- I was going out. My class was over. I was only there for like two hours, I guess. I come out. I'm walking to my car, and then like I go to like open it, and then it opens, and I was like, I hit the button. <laughs> oh uh, shit! So like my heart drops. I'm like, fuck, fuck, <laughs> fuck, fuck, and then like. Uh, I start. I, I get in. I look at the back seat, and then like nothing's like okay. I don't think anything's missing in there. And then like at the time, I had my my speaker in there, and it was like the the beat speaker. Uh, and I have it in the middle console, but like yeah. in the back, in the back middle console, because you can fold that sucker up, and that's where I had it in there. Ooh, that's clean. And then yeah, that's where I hide it. And then I'm like, I pop it open. I see it's still there. I'm like, okay, whew, shit, because I like you know it's a good speaker. Yeah, uh, I keep I looking. I keep looking. Hear what they stole. I can't keep looking, and I'm like, I'm like, oh fuck, my, my insurance. And I look at my glove box. I remember I always locked that some bitch. So <laughs> that one's locked. I'm like, okay, they didn't force it because yeah. they're just like open right now. Yeah. And then I start looking at like my console, at, like my middle, my middle console right here where my yeah. my stick is. I start looking, and then I and then I like start like, okay, what I have there. And then I'm like, okay, there, there, there. and then I remembered had a pack of like extra gum. <laughs> These motherfuckers. <laughs> that's worse than the tape, man. <laughs> These motherfuckers really took my gum. <laughs> Ta- gum costs 50 cents. These motherfuckers really? took your gum. <laughs> <laughs> and the reason I have gum in there is because it's morning class. I didn't brush oh. my teeth. You brushed so teeth. You just threw a gum like, in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just throw a gum in, stay fresh. Then when I get home, I brush them. Yeah. And then, like, I have gum there. And then I literally open my middle console. And in there, I have, like, um, like a little middle flap. I have, like, uh, some car sprays. Uh, um all that some, stuff some like uh, some other stuff whatever yeah. and then like i had a like a couple pens in there pencils whatever it's just a bunch of junk which is not really worth stealing anyways yeah. but it's not it's the fact that that wasn't even open or like anything <sighs> else it was just they took my fucking pack of gum they're so just like, like fuck so yeah i gotta take something so, 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 he's like i gotta take, take something bro speaker or should we take the gum <laughs> he's like fucking take the, the gum take, take the gum, gum. Yeah. so so literally like i guess a motherfucker walked by my car and said Damn, my breath stank. Like, I got gum in his car. <laughs> yeah, he did. Like, and then just, oh and just left. And then I, I was literally like, all he took was my gum. All right, cool. Lesson learned. I'm always locking my car now. <laughs> no fucking take my gum. I know, but I was like, what the fuck? Oh, my God. What about you, Sal? So, I'm still thinking about me, but I do know a story of when my dad used to have a yellow Mustang. 
Ooh. And okay, so <laughs> he had a yellow Mustang, and it was a nice with the spoiler and everything. Mm-hmm. And I was like, "Oh, that's gonna be my car." He told me it was gonna be my car. <laughs> they repoed it, but that was, gonna, oh. <laughs> that was gonna be my car when I graduated. Everything, but so he he used to um, buy and sell uh, sunglasses on the side because he had a cousin in L.A. that would bring him like mm-hmm. yeah. cheap Oakleys, cheap uh, Ray Bans, and he mm-hmm. would sell them or whatever. Right? Okay. So my dad. Um, my dad, I guess, one day accidentally left two cases on his passenger seat. Mm. Of course, parked right in front of our house, but left it yeah. there. We live in a bad neighborhood or whatever, kind of. Now it's a lot nicer, but yeah, I get you. it used to be pretty bad. And the thing is, they were just the cases. There was no glasses in them because my dad had taken my dad had taken the glasses out to clean them. <laughs> oh, okay. And he had left the cases in <laughs> oh, there. Oh, my. Freaking they were like two Ray-Bans cases, They're like the leather ones or whatever. yeah. yeah, yeah. They took like hedge clippers mm-hmm. and busted his passenger side window and took the cases and that was it. My dad had an actual pair of really good sunglasses in the center console. <laughs> he had it, but that's he had right. money in the glove compartment because my dad always carries cash on him. He always has that's cash hidden in his car. Like twenty bucks extra cash in the in the cigarette. No, thing my dad smoking. carries a hundred inside in the glove compartment inside yeah. the uh, the booklet. Like oh, the, okay. the, the, what is it? Like the, the, the user manual. The user, user manual. manual. He yeah, always has a hundred in there. Yeah. And he always has a hundred tucked somewhere inside his wallet behind like one of our fixtures or something like yeah. he always has cash just in case something happens. Right. Well, yeah. Which is why I always have a $20 stuck underneath my seat. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know, like with mine, cause like, it's like emergency, <gasps> like gas money or like, yeah. Like something money. happens. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I put 20 bucks like in the, in the cigarette thing. Cause oh, I don't yeah. smoke obviously. Cause my cigarette thing is like the ashtray or whatever. Smart, it's removable. Smart, smart. Yeah. Yeah. So I put 20 bucks there and close it. And then I've just kept 20 bucks in there. I haven't really updated it or whatever. I think it's still in there, honestly. Yeah. But that's like emergency, like something, something happened. Something yeah. happened. Mm-hmm. I need gas real quick. Or oh, yeah. I need oil or something. I'll bust out that 20 or yeah. something. Yeah. So they stole that. <laughs> and the next morning, I wake up and, like, you know, my dad ended up going to work that day because he had to wait for the people to kind of fix his window and everything. Right. And so I was like, I was like, oh no, I was still going to school. I was like, what happened? She's like, nothing. Don't worry about it. And then, like, later on, we're talking about it. She's like, yeah. They stole two cases, but there was nothing in them. It was just the cases. <laughs> that's, that's, hey, you want to know what's I, I, funny? What? We still have those hedge clippers <laughs> to this <laughs> day. I fucking used them to trim the hedges me, the other day. Show me. Show me. <laughs> no, no, no. That's They're in the thing. garage right here. No, that's, a fucking, that's a worth trade because then while them motherfuckers took the cases, like, should we keep the hedge trees? Nah, dip them. And then he made $80 profit right there. Yeah, exactly. Because yeah, hedge like, cl- we still have them. <laughs> see, but like, like that is kind of useless, but I'm sure that person at the time said, Oh, there's glasses in there. Yeah, he was like, "Oh like, my god, look at." Oh yeah. Look at, like, uh, but like, you, it doesn't bother you to yeah. like look at them, open them while you're yeah, breaking into like, the car. Like you didn't look, feel that they look, were light. Look, look, if you were stealing something, would you be like, "I want to see if there's actually stuff in here." I would I'm before I take it. it. But that's more time you're spending, like you know. Yeah, I see. At they the probably stuff. grabbed it and just dipped, and then like guess, opened it yeah, later, yeah, and we're yeah, like, yeah. "What the fuck?" But I would have like grabbed it and like shook it or something, and be like, "Okay, there's nothing in here." And then dipped and got something else, and then ran. Or yeah. No, because that's all they stupid. took. I was like, Jesus. This is not me, but um, I remember when I when I still used to live with my parents and stuff. Um, you know, like yeah, I'm, I'm sure like you guys know, like I went back and forth. My parents yeah, yeah, would yeah. still cuss me. Yeah. Stuff. Um, I remember like I the thing was like some like sometime during winter break because it was really cold. I went to take out the trash one morning because I like forgot to do it last night. And I just um, I walk outside and I'm like I throw the trash in the bin. I turn around and I see like uh one of the one of the car's doors is open and I'm oh, like. Shit. Oh. oh, shit, like, they were home late, they forgot to close the door or whatever, so I walk over to close the door, and I, we have, like, um, the way my dad's house is, like, we have, like, a driveway, and we have, like, the yard, and then there's, like, a little, like, small, like, area where, like, two really tall trees are planted, Yeah. Um, and they had, like, they had put wood chips in, like, okay. is it, they just uh-huh. filled it in with wood chips, you know, to make it, like, nicer and stuff, and, like, I see, like, there's, like, footprint, like, clear footprints, <laughs> like, of tracks, like, of someone running, Right. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. to the car and then back. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, oh shit. So like I go tell my dad and then like, he's like, is anybody out there? Like, you know, just make sure. And yeah. I'm like, no, nobody's out there. So like we come back outside he's like looking at the car and he's like, they didn't take anything. <laughs> they just ran to the car, opened the door. <laughs> Fuck you, and they just yeah. didn't take anything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this, this car was just... full of shit. Like, um, it was, uh, it was my stepmom's car, and she's like a teacher. 
she doesn't move stuff in and the ho- in and out the house. Right. She just keeps it in the car, and yeah. then when she needs it, she'll come out and get it. Yeah. There was all kinds of stuff in that car. Jeez. There was like a super expensive camera. There was like maybe thousands of dollars of school supplies and art supplies well, in the car. <laughs> but 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 you know what I mean? Like yeah, that, yeah. Stuff's, oh, yeah. that stuff's more like that's that's like yeah. worth like that's not He's worthless like, stuff. Bet you won't open that door. Bet. <laughs> <laughs> open it. And you do it. <laughs> but like no, they just opened the door. And then left it open and just ran off. Nice, Pog. Like, they didn't take it. <laughs> All right, cool. Yeah, easy. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I'm trying to think. Go ahead, do it, bro. We got to wait for yours. What, what's the most? No, he already, he already did one? his. He was, uh, but he was that wasn't his, though. That is true. Anything else or no? Anything come to mind? Uh, <laughs> or, or you don't really get stuff stolen. That's, I don't got much to begin with. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, was, yeah. I don't have a lot. Again, I, don't I, really, got, I got Okay, nothing. I got it. I got it. I got okay. nothing. They took my case. This one sucked. Uh, this one sucked, like, not because of what they stole, like, I didn't really care, but, like, because who did it to me. So, like, we go to Mexico all the time, and... Oh, is it this it, one? Yeah, the Cousins. Okay, I know this one. Right? <laughs> so, okay. Oh, so, I used to have a Game Boy Micro, right? My parents bought it for me for Christmas. They gave it to me early. We went to Mexico. They were here, so you can play on the plane and everything, right? I had, like, five games, right? And so, like, I bought one game myself. It was Chicken Shoot. I bought it for... Three dollars. I bought it for three dollars. Nice. The other games were really nice. My parents bought me right, but they were like, "Here, you can buy a game." And I was like, "I buy that one because it's I cheap." I was like, "Bro, that means I could buy more later." True. It was a shit game, but whatever. Like, it helped pass the time. Mm-hmm. I got really good at it too. <laughs> so like, yeah. so like, I had it or whatever. So my cousins tried to steal my one of my cousins tried to steal my Game Boy, my Game Boy Micro. Caught him. Like my told my parents. They told his parents, parents, and I got it back or whatever. But he stole my fucking chicken shoot game. No. Because, <laughs> like, I couldn't find it afterwards. And I was like, I was like, this motherfucker was like, I can't have that. I'll just take a game. I'll take his fucking Bro, chicken that was shoot. But I, but I was like, I was like, yeah, but, like, he could have had Super Mario World. He could have had, had the game Legend Boy. of Zelda. <laughs> he could have all these other things, but he took chicken shoot. And I was like, and what is he going to play it on? I was nah, like, cause looked, I still have the looked, micro. He looked at the art on the game cartridge and was like, "Oh damn, like this one must be worth a lot of money." So, hey, yeah, that, that's yeah. some cool chicken. He saw three hundred on it. That was three hundred dollars. It was just three dollars. True. Because <laughs> it had one of those little stickers. Yeah, the, 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 yeah. Or, the neon. Yeah, orange. yeah neon orange. Yeah, and yeah, it said yeah, three. Really. It said three dollars, but I think he read three hundred. He was like, <gasps> "Put it in his pocket real quick." Oh, yeah. Hell yeah, yeah, but yeah. <laughs> That's it. That's, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for joining us this week. It was a long one. What's the runtime on this? I can't uh, see. About like a minute thirty. About about, about three fifty. About like three fifty. Okay, cool, Yo, cool. We got exactly six. Nice. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shut up. bro, it, it wasn't even recording, bro. <laughs> Oops. All Oopsies. right, but yeah, thank you guys so much for coming out this week. Hopefully next week we have Carlos. He said he was gonna be here uh, next week, Make and awesome. then and then Steven said he was working on school stuff. So hopefully next week for sure. But yeah, thank you guys so much for coming out, and I'll see you guys in the next one. I thought you were going to do the bullet train one. Whatever. I thought you do bullet train. Hey, you should be happy. That's not going to get DMCA'd. That's true, bro. Like a, like a, like a bullet train. <laughs> All right, well, now we're getting copyrighted. <laughs> Good job, Sal. <laughs>